Hey, this is Redbeck coming to you live from Stand Up Live in Phoenix, Arizona for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Geared up for Tony Hitchcliffe. Phoenix, Arizona, we're here. What the fuck is up? There's no coronavirus in Phoenix. Look, it's Brian Redband. Hey, everybody. everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, come on. This is our first road gig in almost a fucking year. It's you, Phoenix, Arizona. We were the podcast that I would venture to guess was the most affected by a global pandemic because we have a live audience. Yeah. yeah. But not here, not in Phoenix. The rest of the world doesn't exist here tonight in this room. This is the super spreader event of the century. Yeah. And thank God for those little plastic things that will save you guys. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Someone got fired from their job for building those things, huh? <laughs> A little bit too short. For those of you yeah, listening exactly. to the podcast, the plexiglass goes up to everybody's shoulder. Yeah. So their face goes over the plexiglass. The particles go over the plexi. It's for Brad Williams only. That's a He's a midget, everybody. For those of you that don't know, that's a midget <laughs> joke. Because it's protecting midgets who are high risk. Yeah. Low people, <laughs> high risk. Uh, Red Band's here. We're here in Phoenix, Arizona. We're at Stand Up Live, everybody. Here, doing it. It's happening. Shout out to Ryan J. Ebel, who draws every episode. Get your prints and t-shirts here and there and everywhere. And he's the best. But he's not here tonight. He's not in Phoenix. And uh, that's just an absolute fact. But uh, we are. There's a bucket here. A ton of people signed up before the show. I'm so excited to start this show. I'm so excited to be here with you people. But before we begin, here's a little bit about the amazing sponsors that made this episode possible for you here tonight. This podcast is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't fold or awkwardly bulge in your back pocket. And it seriously changed my whole pocket situation. It's designed to fit easily in your front pocket. I was having some neck problems earlier this year. Turns out, you move that stuff to your front pocket, it's a whole nother level. Most people are still using wallets designed in the 90s, carrying around old receipts, pictures of their ex, and gift cards in an organized mess. I mean, you know about this. You have a bunch of uh, fast food place cards in your wallet. Come on. No, but I do think a lot of people like us still carried around that old wallet you know this one holds up to 12 cards plus it has room for cash there are over 30 colors and styles i got the carbon fiber one it's awesome if this wasn't enough to win you over check out the 40,000 five star reviews the durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty you could buy this wallet and carry it for life the ridge team is so confident that you'll like it that they'll give you a 45 day trial you can test it out for 40.5 days. If you don't like it, you could send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. Look, I'm telling you people, every single cast member of Kill Tony has one. They use it. It absolutely works. It's sleek. It makes sense. Get your life together. Get rid of your silly, chunky wallet that your grandpa gave you and uh, have a better life with the Ridge Wallet. Get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash kill Tony. That's ridge.com slash kill Tony. Use the code word kill Tony. Don't forget, get 10% off. It's an amazing thing. Treat yourself. You'll thank me later. And we're <laughs> back. Are you guys ready to start the show? Pa, 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 pa. Pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-pa-
television show. This guy does everything. Yeah, he's all over the place. And he got he, pulled over on the way here. He was in the movie Us. He was a carnival. You did. You got pulled over here in uh, Maricopa County. Yeah, man. That was kind of freaky, you know, looking how I do. Such a wild <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah. A cop, you lower your window, cops are just like, bling, 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 bling. <laughs> it's dollar signs. Uh, what they get you for? Nothing. He let me go. I was like, I'm on my way to a comedy show, man. Wow. Yeah, I know. I use that one. He's like, well, son, I looked up and up and down at your history. Turns out you're not black. So uh, <laughs> we're going to let you go. <laughs> where you're, you're, you're everything but black. And I almost. <laughs> how, how fast were you going? Were you s- speeding? Okay. No, not even that fast. Uh, my registration was out. <laughs> I know. What a lazy guy. Fucking illegal thing to do, right? Wow. Fun times. Well, we're going to have fun tonight, everybody. How many of you are diehard Kill Tony fans, huh? I know. And you guys remember the old band? They're doing great. Jeremiah Watkins is headlining Dallas, Texas right now as we speak. These people. Joel Jimenez taking care of his family. The Mexicans all stay together during this coronavirus. They also work during the coronavirus, and they also live together. It's a whole thing. Uh, Point is, Joel is... uh, no longer with us. No, I'm kidding. He's not here tonight. Uh, none of the normal band is, but we do have a special treat for you. We have a special uh, guest band leader for you tonight. And not only do you have a special band leader for this show live tonight, playing everybody up and down all night, but you'll also be amazed to know that he's also a regular on the show, Kill Tony. He writes and performs a brand new minute every single week, and he's about to do it right now. This is the first ever time that I brought out a regular who then will be the band, and it's about to happen when I present to you one of the longest-standing regulars in Kill Tony history. To get it started tonight with a minute, I present to you the great, the powerful, William Montgomery, everybody. Here he is, live in the flesh. Phoenix goes wild for the big red machine. He's in front of him. He's looking at the audience. The clock has not started. He's soaking it in. We've never seen this move before, folks. The clock technically doesn't start until you start talking if you're a regular. This is an orthodox maneuver. He's giving them the cutesy eyes. We've seen this. He looks shy. Wait, you think he's setting him up for the... No. Is he going to do the winks? Is he doing it? Oh, I didn't see it, but I could hear the reaction. Oh, I saw that one. All right, William, how about you do a minute? William Montgomery, everybody. Make some noise for William. A brand new minute of stand-up comedy. I love Phoenix. Uh, I call all the weight I put on during quarantine uh, the COVID-19. I'm still waiting for MTV to release the show Teen Dad. What about us? You think it's easy staying with the mom until the baby turns nine months? Uh, Joe Biden's so old, when the Titanic sank, they said women and children first, and he said, nah, maybe just the children. I just read a restaurant describe itself as unconventional and was kind of turned off. Give me a place that advertises itself as for level-headed Christians. (laughs) Democrats are the party of diversity, which Joe Biden has proven by appointing Jews with totally different fingertips. (laughs) Or fingerprints. (laughs) William Montgomery. Did you mess up a word there at the end? Yeah, I was supposed to say Democrats are the party of diversity, which Joe Biden has proven by appointing Jews with totally different fingerprints. Yeah. Uh, Yeah, you could have just said, like when I just asked you if you messed up the last word there, you could have just said, yeah, I said fingerprints. You did the whole thing from the very beginning. Democrats are the party of (laughs) diversity, which Joe Biden has proven by appointing Jews with totally different fingerprints. 
fingerprint. All right. Red Band, uh, why'd you do that? Don't start this shit off. Uh, I swear to God, don't do that. Uh oh. Red Band and no, William I'm not have fucking a around. Don't. Rivalry. It's only yeah, funny don't. for about the first eight seconds, but uh, they do it all the time. Mm. Can I can I get a <laughs> can I get a taste of what kind of music stylings we'll have? Yeah, probably? William has a keyboard. We've never seen this before in Kill Tony history. Never before has a regular ventured into band territory. This is the debut. This is going to be huge uh, news to Kill Tony. Oh, wait. Why don't you just why don't you just play a song, William? Wow. This oh is going to be a God. fucking party here tonight. Wow. Wow. What an upgrade. This is incredible. <laughs> oh, this my. Inc- I felt like Eric Clapton when he saw Jimi Hendrix and then wanted to kill himself, you know? That was amazing. Okay, I get it. I can't believe you could play all that with one finger. There was percussion in there. All right. So William's the band. Dustin Yabar is here. There's a bucket filled with names. A bunch of people sign up. Anything can happen, as you may have seen before. If you get your name pulled out of the bucket, that means you have to make your way all the way around over there and up these stairs here right on the side. Oh, there's some here, too? Oh, that's great. That's a huge hazard. A bunch of handicapped people around here stumbling around. Uh, That's great. Or you can make it to this staircase. Either way, go to that microphone. You get 60 seconds uninterrupted. You know your time is up when you're the sound of a kitten. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry uh, Tempe bear. (laughs) Sorry, everybody from Tempe. I didn't ask what the gay part of Phoenix was before the show. I'm going to be honest with you every once in a while. You know what? What is the gay part of Phoenix? Scottsdale. Scottsdale? <laughs> I can see that. A lot of Wyatt Earp mustaches out there. Yeah. I always said uh, I always said they should build a wall between Phoenix and Tempe. I don't know who's with me there. Okie dokie. Again, obviously I didn't realize we were in Tempe here tonight. Uh the William, you look great. I love that you have a drink that matches I look gray? Yeah, you have a drink that matches your hat and your shirt. I look gray? Like a skin color? Grape. Oh, I thought you said grape. No, you look orange. <laughs> Whose skin color is gray? Grape? Grape? <laughs> we you guys ready song? to start the show tonight <laughs> or what? <laughs> huh? You guys ready to do it? Uh, William, you ready? I'm excited. Getting 60 seconds uninterrupted and then being interviewed by me and my esteemed panel of uh, cohorts up here. goes by the name of Cam Sneed. Wow, big pop. Big pop for Cam Sneed. Here he is, everybody. Make some noise for Cam, everyone. I literally just saw William press one button. I don't know if he's actually playing, but... (laughs) (laughs) all right hey uh, a little bit about me my name is cam uh with a k uh my name is spelled with a k my last name isn't with a k that would be weird (laughs) Uh, i'm 19 and uh if i'm being honest with you guys i'm 26 (laughs) and if i'm being too honest with you guys even though i'm 26 i'm still afraid to kiss girls (laughs) wow wow Which I realize is, you know, it's kind of ironic because, like, you know, I'm practically a Korean James Dean. (laughs) Right, guys? No, uh, the reason I'm so cute is uh, because I'm mixed. I'm uh, I'm, uh, Korean, black, and white. Korean, black, and white. But the white is silent. (laughs) For once. All right, well, there's that. Fuck yeah, Cam Sneed, everybody. I was yeah. The sound of yeah. thunder at some point. Something fell from the ceiling. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what your gr- witch doctor grandmother is doing to help your set from the audience right now, but uh, something just turned on. What is that, the air conditioner? Yeah, just the air conditioner. Jesus this. fucking Christ. Old ass building. This is the first <laughs> show that's ever happened here? <laughs> Comedians must love that when they're up there bombing, just boom. 
conditioning has taught My God. It's the loudest air conditioner ever. Cam, really you is. should do stand up in front of air conditioners <laughs> so that people can tell how loud their air conditioner is. AC likes me, huh? I love it. Cam Sneed, you're so much more Asian than you sound. <laughs> and you sound Asian. I oh I I oh. I like Asian James Dean. <laughs> I like James Dean, but Asian. I also so black and so white. I I just like all of you. Thanks we all one. We all united. Air conditioning activated. <laughs> oh, it's real conditioning. <laughs> all right. So, uh, is that the fuck? <laughs> Cam, how long you been doing stand-up? Uh, two years. Two years. Where at? All here in Phoenix? Yeah, mostly out here, yeah. Okay, what do you do for work? Uh, construction plumbing. Do you, uh, do you fix loud air conditioners? <laughs> <laughs> no. I wish. I wish I did. I wish, I wish I did. <laughs> uh, they, they're loving the Asian accent. I really am. I, yeah, it's the most fun accent to do. I know. A uh, Nintendo! You want to... You want to know what the funniest word to say with an Asian accent is? Sure, you tell me. Blood sample. Okay, how do you say that? Well, how, do you, how would you say it? Well, I don't want to do something that you're right. directing me to do. <laughs> I don't know if you think it's this a, is like make a wish. <laughs> I got one for you, Tony. No, it's all good. <laughs> all right, so let's say it's a... It's Bruce a, Emperor! <laughs> no, okay. Exactly. Uh, thank you. <laughs> There you uh, go. What do your uh, What do your parents do? Which one's Korean? Which one's black? And which one's white? <laughs> <laughs> this is the wonkiest threesome ever to make you. My daddy's. I've uh, heard of Manny Pacquiao, but I never heard of Boy Boy Pacquiao before. <laughs> this is very youthful. What's your dad? Uh, he's uh, half Korean, half black. Whoa, oh, half man. Korean. My mom half... is all white. Yeah. Wow, nice. look at that. Half Korean, half black. North Korean or South Korean? Pretty sure he escaped from the north. Wow, really? Holy shit. <laughs> Motherfucking north side. North side, represent. Incredible. Who else? Incredible. Anybody else make it out? <laughs> All right. What kind nope. of construction do you do? You don't seem like a very construction-y type of guy. <laughs> what makes you say that? He does plumbing, though. He does plumbing construction. So he puts, like, totos and, like, toilets and stuff in, right? Totos? That's like a Japanese toilet. Right. We all know that. Uh, yeah, plumbing. plumbing. Mostly but plumbing? Yeah, plumbing, plumbing, you know, that's from the ground up, so I'm there before. Are you selling us on having plumbing right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah. Plumbing's an important thing. Trust a house me, built? better with it than without it. <laughs> if you don't have it, it's not too late. Uh, how long have you been doing that for? Uh, three years. Is that the business that your father's in? Yeah, kind of. He does leak detection on pools. Leak that's a whole detection. Thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh he's, a, he's a detective. I got a leak. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you where it's at. <laughs> I'll find it. Cam Sneed trying to lay the pipe like a real plumber over here. Uh, so uh, you ever gotten laid having uh, being the plumber? You know, there's this image in Americans' minds that uh, ladies just basically, you know, shove stuff in their toilets <laughs> just so that a fucking <laughs> so that a hunky <laughs> so, that, so, <laughs> so that a hunky plumber comes over and then sometimes yeah, well, yeah, they I've answer the, the door and they're like, man, I hope it's a tall, handsome, white or black man, uh, I swear. <laughs> I'm just going to totally have sex with it. And you come in like, I swear I white or black. <laughs> right? I tall. I so tall and white and black. <laughs> All right. Uh, you ever gotten laid on the job? Uh, nope, 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 nope. Come nope, on. Nope, nope, you can nope, tell nope. us. This is a truth. This is We call this the, uh, the truth chamber. Well, I'll tell you the truth is uh, I don't like homeowners. <laughs> So oh, I, that uh, sentence could have went really yeah. bad. Yeah. I, don't <laughs> I, I was like, oh, man. Totally I thought it was going weird. I, I, I don't like homos. Wait a second. <laughs> That's very North Korean of you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you don't like homeowners? Stick with me over here, Cam. Do not get distracted by the charismatic man to your right. <laughs> Pay no attention to the guy that... All right, go ahead. What... Uh, uh, what do you mean you don't like homeowners? 
Uh, I just don't like dealing with them. They're all too too picky. So I just what I do is all before it even goes to the homeowner. So wow. I mean, I can you know you know you want to talk about construction, you want a house. When building. you say picky <laughs> and that you only work before the homeowners, does that mean that you're really shitty at your job? Yeah, like like oh, it sounds only like a little bad. bit of the poop goes down. I only work before people move in. Yep. When people yep, move in, yep. I don't deal with shit. All they do is complain because I'm not good at job. Yep. I'm sorry. Gee, I'm never <laughs> going to be on Saturday Night Live after this. That's all I know. My dreams have... Uh, all right. Um, what else, Cam? What's something that we would be interested to know about you? You know, any? Uh, you have any special skills or talents? Perhaps uh, jujitsu or tai chi or karate or... Uh, <laughs> No. Or uh, something. Anything uh, at all? I don't know how to fight. Uh, I can... S- oh, don't do that. Red band. <laughs> Red band. That is not nice. <laughs> he has those on deck for any Asian person that comes up. Huh? That is not nice. Uh, if, if you get into a fight, do you go to the corner of the room and start low kicking? Like in uh, <laughs> like, like <Street> Fighter? <laughs> I feel like you were going to say something there, though, when I asked you if you have a special skill or a talent. Anything uh, at all? You have, uh, I was just going to say I, I could sing, but... Oh, you can sing? Yeah, oh, yeah, shit. Totally. You guys ready yeah, for some totally fucking sing. Filipino karaoke right now? <laughs> Korean, white, and black, that's right. Filipino to me, damn it. Go drop, drop a hot beat for all me. All right, what are you going <laughs> to sing tonight? Um, you know, uh, "Kiss from a Rose" by Seal. Absolutely, <laughs> oh yeah, absolutely, we do. You're gonna Everybody sing that? that song, right? Yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah you want to yeah. just go right into it? All right. Yeah. Right now, like this? <laughs> yeah. You want to do it like that, or you want some background music? Or Whatever something? you got for me, I'm ready. <laughs> William, give him a. <laughs> <laughs> Remix. <laughs> All right, can't. All right, William, stop the music. Stop the music. I'm uh, sorry. I think William doesn't know how to play that thing. <laughs> yeah, no, you're in good shape. Here you go. You ready? You better sing your fucking heart out All there. Right, that, right. You better lose that Is smile. You better get rid of that fucking <laughs> smile. <laughs> these people want to hear. They, these people haven't been at a live concert in months. <laughs> now you're gonna get to see an Asian guy sing Seal. <laughs> 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 Right Wait, when start, you over, look. start over. I didn't know it was going to start over. Start, start over. over. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. Face. Well, you kept talking. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there was a green tower alone on the sea. Oh, my God. You were there. A light on the dark side of me. Sing the fucking song, dude. Love remains. <laughs> a, oh, there's a... The drug and not the pill. There's the words, you idiot. But did you know that when it snows, my eyes become dark. Wide. And the light <laughs> that you shine my can be seen. Wide. Baby, I can tell you You stop. A- you cannot <laughs> sing. I can't believe you did. You're the first person in the history of the show to lie to us. Hey, you. Yeah, that felt like the fast version, if I'm being honest. Well... What? It wasn't. Sing it a lot slower. (laughs) No, it was not a fast (laughs) version. Cam. Kills at the Filipino bars. There he goes. Cam Sneed getting it started, everybody. My God. Let's move on. Good job, Cam. Good job at the interview part, at least. He's on uh, social media. Cam Sneed. K A M underscore S N E A D. You guys having fun yet? You get it? Like, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. 60 seconds uninterrupted. Wait. Oh, here comes the cleaning guy, everybody. Look at this fucking hunk. Screech died, but other Saved by the Bell people are still alive. Here he is, changing the microphone covers. Uh, What's his name? Who's the guy from Saved by the Bell? Oh, um, Dustin. Mario Lopez, right? Yeah. Oh, the other one. Dustin Diamond, rest in peace, everyone. It's tough. Every time I watched, uh, I did that joke last week. There he goes. <laughs> These sound people in Phoenix, I'm telling you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, you guys ready for more, huh? <laughs> Pull another name out of the bucket. Could be anybody. Could be someone's first time. Could be the best comedian in the history of Phoenix, Arizona. Who knows? Make some noise for Matt Walker. Here we go. Matt Walker coming to the 
frightening children's music coming out of William's keyboard. Hey, here he is, everybody. It's Matt Walker. All right. <laughs> okay. All right. My dad said uh, he knew I took after my mom ever since I was a baby. I said, how can you tell? He said, you were always crying, and I didn't know what you wanted from me. <laughs> Speaking of love, my girlfriend's here tonight. Uh, she's older than me, but um, she looks really young. So when we go out in public, we get into these weird interactions. Like this one time a lady came up to us. She was like, oh, you're, you're such a creep. You're out here with this young girl, yada, yada, yada. I said, wow. So you're just assuming that she's not mature for her age. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Um, Okay, all right, yeah, that's good. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Matt Ooh. Walker. Yeah. I feel like Matt Walker snuck out of his bedroom uh, tonight to come here. Do your parents know that you're out right now? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How old are you? I'm 20 years old. 20 years old. Wow, yeah, what man. a little young buck you are. How long have you been doing stand-up for? Uh, first time. First time ever, everybody. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Matt Walker coming in. Confident, you you seem good up here on stage. Uh, you seem like you have you had experience. You act or anything? Uh, I did like theater in high school. Okay, what type of what, what what type of roles did you have? Um, I don't know. I played like like the father in a lot of plays. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, I, did, I had like braces and I was like five four. And they're like. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, but you do have that fatherly guy in theater in high school type <laughs> yeah. of look, you know? Like, <laughs> damn like it, a we're, like, we're, go we're getting a divorce. <laughs> I, need a, I need an 11 year old to play 50. Uh, let's yeah. go with Matt Walker. <laughs> All right, Matt, what else? Tell us more about being a 20 year old in where? Phoenix, born and raised? Yeah, Phoenix, born and raised. Uh -huh. You have yeah. a job? Uh, over the summer, I worked as a janitor at the Jewish Community Center. Oh, whoa, Jesus. What were you sweeping up? I know it wasn't loose change. I, I let her... <laughs> That's why I'll never be on Saturday Night Live, is because of that joke. Every one of you people are summoning <laughs> demons out of me. What, what type of things would you find in your dustpan uh, um, in your dustpan at a Jewish uh, community uh, center? Not much. I mean, I mostly did like sanitizing, like for the coronavirus. You have a vi you know you sound like a Republican. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Tony, I do a lot of the sanitizing. Uh, <laughs> you know, I just do what I can. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. So, what what would you uh, what, what type of what are you talking about? What else would happen at that job? Are you um, Jewish? What? Are you Jewish? No, despite wow. the, you know. Right. No. <laughs> it's interesting. You would think the Jewish people would make sure that a Jewish kid got that job, but they must laugh at the white man out there yeah. just like, ha, ha. <laughs> he looks pretty Jewy, though. I, mean, I know, yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you observe anything, you know, about the Jews, that, you know, being around so many Jewish people? Did you notice something about them? Uh, like Jesus sacrifice, Christ. man. My God, you're asking... <laughs> You're asking like Christoph Waltz and Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> yeah. right How do they move? <laughs> <laughs> what are their likes and dislikes? Ah, rumor. Oh, tell us more. Ah, that's a bingo. <laughs> um, so tell us more about you, Matt Walker. Um, you know. <laughs> No, I don't out. know. I promise you. <laughs> It'd be so weird if I did. If I'm like Matt Walker, um, uh, <laughs> loves crossword puzzles and masturbating yeah. into uh, yeah. a lot of different things. How many yeah. TikTok followers do you have? Uh, like 2,000. How wow. many sea monkeys do you have? I have zero sea monkeys. So many sea monkeys. Sure, sure <laughs> monkey. Shara Shoda, Shara Silverman. Sea monkeys and Shindy. Sucker and suckatash. All right. <laughs> My goodness. Why do I feel like your like chest goes in? Do you have an any chest? Oh, oh you know. <laughs> it seems like they got everyone croned like I'm right. I mean, God. You, know. I think you guys believe. Very rarely on this show have I ever predicted an any chest. That's this is crazy. the first time.
I mean, it's like, it's not great, you know, I, mean, I don't work out or anything. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't know. You have a girlfriend? I do, yeah, yeah, yeah. How long have you two been together? <sighs> so, coming up on three years, March 3rd. Wow, where'd you guys meet? High school? Yeah, high school, oh high school goodness. theater. Did you uh, take her to a Shady Hawkins? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, I don't know. Um, okay. You guys are banging? You have sex? Sure. Yeah? Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That's a great answer. Sure. Whatever you sure. want. Uh, when's the interview over? Uh, uh, I, mean, I don't know. It depends if her parents are watching. Uh, Wait, your parents are here? No, no, no. But, like, if they, like, see this, like, oh, later. Oh, uh, shit. What's your favorite position? <laughs> <laughs> Doggy style. <laughs> what is her favorite position? Go ahead and tell you us. Know, good old fashioned missionary. Yeah, I oh, bet it is. Missionary. A, I, my guess is that's the only option you get when you're with Matt Walker. <laughs> I love how he rolls with the punches. Very good, Matt. Very good. My goodness. Uh, what does she do? Um, she runs like a depop shop. Depop? <laughs> what? Like it's like an ad, like she like resells clothes. Depop? Mm. Is yeah. that like K-pop? But like Denmark people or some shit? <laughs> no, 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 no. Isn't that the doctor on CNN? Depop? I know. Hello, I am Depop. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Why I'm so racist today. Yeah. Why did he turn into C-3P? Hello, I am Depop. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is Depop, dude? Uh, it's like an you're app. You're talking to us like we're 20. I'm sorry. It's like an app on your iPhone <laughs> where you you resell clothes. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's how, that's how the app is. My goodness. All right. Matt, any, uh, you, uh, you have any great fears or th things that scare you that you think are a little bit weird? You have a... a Repeating nightmare or anything like that? Or? Um, I do have a fear of coyotes. <coughs> have, you, have you been near a coyote? Yeah, I got chased by one with my brother. Do you mean like the animal or the Mexican smuggling? Uh, the animal. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that what freaks you out? Like, I think there's some coyotes uh, in here. No, I, I, Smells I would, like Chipotle. Like, what? Come on, man. No, I would never admit out loud that those scare me, but no, yeah, the animal. You know, coyotes are just bitch-ass dogs. You know, you can, like, you could snap your fingers and they'll run away from you. Yeah, well, that's what I, I was running from the gas station, running back, and then, like, I was with my brother, and then we, like, started running away from it, right, started running at us. And that's when I, like, realized that my brother was faster than me, little brother, so I was like, right. oh, shit. Is your brother Owen Wilson? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Uh, <laughs> how fast was the how fast was the coyote? Oh, it was pretty fast, but I like threw my big gulp at it. Uh, did you hear it, that? What? Did you hear that? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow, good acting. That's that high school. Shot. <laughs> so what uh, happened? Dude. What happened after you? <laughs> <laughs> you see that? He acted like a dad. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> What, uh, what did the coyote do? Uh, what was the big gulp of? That's the real question. Because I heard coyotes love a good Dr. Pepper. You it know? was Dr. Pepper. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what happens when Tony guesses something right. Uh, it was a Dr. Pepper. It was that is a Dr. incredible. Pepper, and did yeah. the coyote stop and drink it? Was it confused? Well, I don't Dr. know if it Pepper stopped. Is this is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. I'm a coyote. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it stopped or ran away, but like we were like running and like looking over our shoulder. And oh there. yeah. The doctor yeah. saved the day. That's right. Dr. Pepper. All right. Uh anything else crazy we should know about you, Matt Walker? Um You work at a haunted house sometimes in late October. <laughs> Am I right? You've ever worked in a, like a haunted hayride or something like yeah. that? I'm getting haunted hayride vibes no. from me right now. No, no, mm. no. Yeah, I also maybe a fingering on a Ferris wheel type of guy. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 sure. Kind of that look. Does your girl like that? Well, no, 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 no. No, 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 no <laughs> sir. She only likes it when uh, <laughs> missionary position. Yeah, man. All right. 
So much fun, Matt. Congrats. First time ever on stage, you did it in yeah, front of a sold yeah. out audience. Thanks, guys. The Thanks, best guys. comedy club in all of Phoenix. Stand up live here at whatever wacky plaza this is. So Matt Walker's on social media at Matt Walker 3 underscore. I hope his her parents do see this. Oh, they're yeah, totally going to. It's going to be great. And they're going to they're going to show them. They're going to be like, "Listen kids, we heard you're only fucking missionary position." <laughs> so we're going to show you how to fuck and they're just going to fuck right in front of them. Keep looking at me, Matt. Keep looking at me, Matt Walker. <laughs> Watch me while I fuck you. Were you were you were you like high school Plays? Were you guys in the the plays? No, not at all. I was in some high school plays. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, I look like I was in some high school plays. Yeah, plays. you were right. Yeah, definitely. Now I was in a I was in the Christmas play when I was in first grade. I was uh, the star of the play. Wow. But I wasn't the actual star. Um, I was just a star. I was a decoration. It oh. turned out like I was really <laughs> excited. And then they just put a piece of yarn over my neck that had a star, and the star was on my chest. They're so like, Tony, you just stand in the corner the whole time. You're going to be... I'm not even kidding. <laughs> sounds like a joke, but it's not. It's not as funny as a joke, but it sounds like a joke. It sounds like a bad joke. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, uh, you guys having fun out there? <laughs> Pull another name out of the bucket. Make some noise for Adam Benjamin. Here he comes. Adam Benjamin. Some music from the great William Montgomery. How about a big hand for William over there playing his heart out? (laughs) Here he is, Adam Benjamin. Thank you. So I just had an employee call me and say he wasn't going to finish new hire orientation. He couldn't get through the multicultural diversity training. He said his policy is if I can't spell it, I'm not participating in it which I thought was pretty uh, cool, but I never would have guessed this guy could have spelled incestuous. So getting through (laughs) multicultural diversity training, you know, it's always really hard because you hear about all these things that certain groups of people can say that you can't get away with. For example, you know, Tony can say fag. My ex-mother-in-law can say fucking cunt. uh, And the one thing that black people can say that white people just can't get away with, we all know what that is, my life matters. And, yeah... So, so I think that this show, though, they do a great job of promoting diversity. They always like to bring a woman comic up at the end if there hasn't been one on the show. But I don't know if that's about diversity or if it's because it reminds Red Band of his uh, honeymoon. You know, him in the corner with Tony standing there yelling to a crowd full of men or a room full of men. Hey, is she coming? I can't see. Is she coming? Is she coming? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Adam Benjamin. What was that? Well, what did you think was going to happen there? Do you think the crowd was going to fucking carry you off? Just toss your little spicy meatball ass around, just fucking crowd surfing? Like, I can't believe you had the balls to make fun of them, dude. What was that? It was frightening. How many times a week do you go to human resources? Like, how many times? Like, rough. I am Once human resources. You are adorable. Look at you. Look at you, you little oh, fucking wow. thing, you. What's up? I like your style, dude. Uh, what do you do for work, Adam? I'm a construction manager. Hell yeah, you are. You have a Chevy Silverado? Fucking A right. God damn it. It has <laughs> begun, everybody. He's dialing in. How can he guess Dr. Pepper and Chevy Silverado? <laughs> Did I get my uh, sound on that? Yeah. Uh, I didn't even hear it. Um, uh, so Chevy Silverado, do you have like a special step that you have to use, obviously, to get in it? Like a special <laughs> handle on the side? Yeah, we usually use the uh, black, white, Asian plumbers to stand up on. Oh, oh Jesus oh, Christ. Oh, man. Adam Benjamin is wow. half comedian, half racist. Oh. He just found the perfect show that lets it all fly here. Uh, well, Adam, what is your least favorite race, if you don't mind me asking? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding, Adam. We all know what it is. Uh, where were you uh, born and raised? Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania. <laughs> <laughs> now, go Man. ahead. Tell me. I actually just flew down today from Washington State. Washington State. All right. What part? Euphrata? <laughs> Tacoma. Okay. All right, cool. <laughs> there you go. That's the sound of Tacoma right there. A little sound of home for you. All right. Born and raised in Tacoma? Yep. 
How many times have you uh, left Tacoma? Uh, I've been everywhere. You've been everywhere. Travel a lot for work, yeah. Okay. And your work, again, is... Construction. Just regular old construction? Uh, underground utilities, civil infrastructure. Nice. Damn, underground utilities. A lot of plumbers here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of plumbers trying to make their job sound fancier than it is. Yeah. I work in construction. Don't ask me which department. <laughs> We're building shit. I mean, stuff. Uh, you ever, like, dig up some, like, old ancient bones, you know, and you're like, oh, don't, we better not let anyone know about this ancient burial ground. You yeah, know? we yeah. better not let anyone know yeah, about yeah, that yeah, ancient yeah. burial yeah, ground. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Have you, have you, <laughs> insert racial slur <laughs> burial ground. Was there just, like, a Jedi mind trick that happened? Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> Did he just trick you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but I like when he laughs. Yeah, I know. His, whole, his tits jiggle when he laughs like that. <laughs> how, how about your love life, uh, Adam Benjamin? You seem like the kind of guy that loves to uh, rape. <laughs> <laughs> you have a girlfriend at home? You dating? Uh, I was uh, divorced about a year ago. Okay. All right. How long were you with her for? Uh, 16 years. Okay. Wow. Well, there you go. And this happened uh, recently, right? So what are we talking about now? What have you been doing since then? What's the rebound, uh, what's the rebound pussy game looking like for a guy uh, shaped like a fucking uh, barrel fire? Uh, I've just been, uh, I got a, two kids. I got a two-year-old and a five-year-old, so I've just been focused. Are they on under your shirt right now? <laughs> Nursing, two-year-old and a five-year-old, and you're the you you have custody, huh? I do not know. Oh, okay. That'd be scary. You're just like it's really hard every other weekend, bro. Uh, <laughs> really, just trying to put it all together, man. Between all the hard work and the uh, two days every fourteen days, Ooh. <laughs> just trying to keep the whole ship afloat. You know, <laughs> when I pick them up on. <laughs> <laughs> They're in the car. I gotta go. <laughs> this better not be your weekend. I'm gonna be so pissed if there's kids out there right now, sitting outside of a fucking Copperhead Blues watching. Uh... Right. The gal at CVS seemed trustworthy. What? The gal at CVS seemed trustworthy. Yeah. No, if that's the good part of having a Chevy Silverado. Is uh, two and five year olds are scared to jump out of it. Like they'll open the door and they'll be like. No, we should wait. They don't have to open the door when they ride in the back. All right, there you go, Adam, (laughs) making everything a little bit more creepy than it has to be. Uh, So tell us, have you been on dates since then? Like, what are we talking about? Let's be, let's get real, some real dirt. Uh, no dates, nope. Just been uh, working things out. When's the last time you uh, made out with a girl other than your wife? (laughs) Seventeen years ago. Wow, really? It's it's a shame that it's COVID. We used to do a yeah. <laughs> we, we used to do a segment on the show where uh, where we would ask if there's a uh, a beautiful woman in the audience that'd be willing to kiss this guy for the first time in 17 years. But but now I don't know I kn- I know you guys didn't hear about this Phoenix, but there is a global pandemic happening. Yeah. Uh, uh, you guys still want it somehow, but uh, again, I, I don't think you really understand. It's probably illegal. Unless there was a woman that has already had the vaccine. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. She's really old, though. She's like 75. Yeah. <laughs> I just got my second shot today. Yeah. Let's fuck. <laughs> what? Adam would be excited. Adam would be excited. Stop pointing at this innocent young lady. Um, Adam. So, uh, wow. God damn it, man. That really sucks. Uh, is there a uh, is there a man that's had the vaccine that uh, perhaps would be willing to mouth kiss Adam? No, William, don't do it. No, don't do oh, it. No, William, oh. sit down. Sit down. Get back to your station. I've had no. the vaccine. No, you haven't. No, dude. you haven't. No, I haven't. <laughs> William, sit back on the stool. Just stay on the stool. Jesus Christ, these people, they join the band, they start losing their fucking minds. I would like to, to see maybe like William put a carrot stick in his belly button and try to transfer it to his belly button maybe though. Oh, does anybody have a <laughs> carrot stick? Yeah, we could can we please get a <laughs> carrot? Excuse me, sir, can you grab a, go back and grab a carrot stick for us, please? <laughs> Thank you so much. How about a big hand for the stand-up live staff? 
Can we get some carrot stick transfer music uh, queued up here? There's got to be a special song for that. Do you guys need some ranch or something? (laughs) Oh, I think William's got it dialed up, actually. Hold on, let's just wait for the carrot. This is carrot waiting music, actually. It's the kind of music you put on when you're waiting for a waiter to to deliver a single baby carrot. Is it happening? I hope right now he's fumbling around Perhaps we could get a couple different sides. No carrots? (laughs) Whoa! Look oh at my <laughs> god! Where the hell did you Wow! What county fair did you Ladies steal? and gentlemen? <laughs> it turns out this is what your penis looks like if you're Korean, black, and Asian. Or white. I fucked that up. Wow. Korean, black, and white. Look at that thing. That is not true. That is not what my dick look like. <laughs> it's Cam Sneed, everybody. Okay. <laughs> so this is a uh, this is <laughs> This is not gonna fit. I don't think. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dr. Red Band. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, he might have a gaper, you know? Uh, can we see your belly button real quick, Adam? Just, just, just flash us your belly button. We've already seen Williams. I know Williams can actually... <laughs> Williams can handle that. <laughs> yeah, I can fit that in my belly button. I know we can... I could fit that half of that fucking thing in my belly button. There's still a leaf on it. It's a tiny little leaf there at the end. This thing, like, I think they just went and picked this thing. <laughs> oh, fuck. They were not prepared for this at all. No. <laughs> They're like, someone, baby carrot, fast. It's like, <laughs> all right, let's just see. Just lift up your shirt a little bit real uh, quick, Adam. I'm going to see. Let's do it. Let's just do it. <laughs> oh, I don't know, dude. Right. This guy is like guy, an Asian belly button. He's <laughs> got a, it's got a little Tony Hinchcliffe belly button there. Here, let's see if we can. <laughs> oh <laughs> this man, is too weird. William, here. <laughs> you I, feel, I feel like this is illegal. You know? <laughs> <laughs> here, you do it. You do it. <laughs> oh my god. You do it. Put down your sprite. <laughs> <laughs> this is. <laughs> show's so stupid. All right, all right, all right. This is the dumbest thing in podcast <laughs> history. It would have been great if we had a baby carrot, though. That would have been perfect. <laughs> like if we could transfer it from belly button to belly button. I mean, be when's awesome. the last time you even saw that a mean, carrot yeah, that big? I think that's how you make baby carrots. It's like they've been <laughs> waiting. <laughs> it's like Carrot Top was here. Carrot cock. Anyway, uh, all right, Adam. Too much fun. Uh, I really wish that the B side of this carrot would have fit in your belly button, but uh, turns out you have a the belly button is your tiniest feature. <laughs> Very rarely does that work out that way, but um, but thank you so much, Adam. Thank you. Thanks for coming on. There he goes, Adam Benjamin. Adam Benjamin. He's at Adam Benjamin. It says there's no underscore there or anything. Can't imagine he got that name. <laughs> William uh, showing off a very hearty. Still has a very hearty deep unorthodox belly button. It is really deep. I don't know if y'all noticed, but I I got like a third of that thing in my belly button. <laughs> my belly button is hurting right now. Really bad. I don't know if y'all saw. I got like a third of that thing. He did. I saw it. In my belly button. Did you notice that? I saw it. He, I thought you had a kangaroo pouch. Kangaroo like, pouch? Deep, man. Kangaroo pouch? Kangaroo pouch? Okay. <laughs> how about a big hand? Give me that fucking carrot. No. <laughs> how, about a, how about a big hand for the sound guy, Aaron, everybody yes. up here helping Woo. us out. He's Woo. doing it. Your next comedian goes by the name of Emilio Figueroa. Emilio. Emilio Figueroa. Here he is. Come on, guys. Put your hands together for Emilio. <laughs> Or not? Okay. Uh, hey guys, uh, first off, I'm not Hawaiian. I'm just a fat Mexican. I was recently told I look like the Mexican Benjamin Franklin. I, I so I guess that means I belong on the 100 peso bill. 
Yeah, I didn't discover electricity, <laughs> but I discovered elote. Uh, Mexicans drink their Coca-Cola warm because they're afraid of ice. <laughs> hey, you guys know who always gets laid on the first date? Necrophiliacs. But they don't need game. They don't need game or finesse. They don't need a wine and dine, but they do need a shovel. Imagine if there's like a gay necrophiliac. Like, first off, that's one picky motherfucker. Emilio Figueroa. Welcome to the show, Emilio. This is very exciting. This is the first time in the show's history in which someone pulled out of the bucket has been the long-lost brother of the guest of yes. the show. Uh, this is, uh, I love it. Oh, no, no, Dustin, I got COVID. <laughs> Dustin Yabara, meet your brother, Justin Yabara. I, I like it. We, we're both uh, shitty Aquaman. It's very bad. <laughs> I love it. So, Emilio, let's get it started here. How long have you been uh, married to Danny DeVito? <laughs> well, uh, I guess uh, I, it's okay. You don't have to answer. Uh, <laughs> now, how long have you looked like a tiny Andre the Giant? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe like uh, eight months or something. Eight months. Or... No, Which good. season of Narcos did you get killed in? <laughs> <laughs> Two. Okay. I love it. I love it. So welcome to the show, uh, boy Palo Malu. Um, <laughs> how old are you? Uh, how old are you, Emilio? I'm 24. 24 years old. Born and raised here in Phoenix? Yeah. What do you do? Uh, I, I do uh, DoorDash, and I, I mainly try to focus on comedy. Hell yeah. DoorDash. That explains You dress you. pretty nice for a DoorDash guy. <laughs> like, this guy gives me, like, Night Stalker vibes. I don't yeah. know about you guys, but... Oh, he yeah. never said what he, I think he's just going to women's doors and then dashing. I don't think he works for the I don't think he works for the actual app. You have creepy uh cre- some a uh, little bit of a creepy vibe, but you also seem like a good uh good person. I haven't quite made my uh mind up about you. You're very well dressed. You're dressed like a uh, you're dressed how the uh you're dressed how Matt Walker sounds. <laughs> It seems like you should have a cigar or something. Yeah. It's very Jehovah's Witness at a bar type of vibe. Yeah. You know? It's interesting. It looks like you just watched a season of Succession and decided that that's how white people uh, dress. <laughs> it looks like you made money on Robin Hood for a week. <laughs> yeah. Old fucking diamond hands over here. Uh. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um... So, uh, what, uh, what do you do for fun? Seem like a guy that uh, definitely has hobbies. I know that uh, you probably have a pet snake. Am I correct? No, I just <laughs> I, I got uh, three dogs. Three dogs? Uh, and, uh, One of my favorite rappers. Yeah. Then uh, I just, I, just uh, I mainly you know, focus on comedy, and uh, I, uh, I like to meditate sometimes. And, and that's Wait, it. what just happened there? Did you just yawn for a second? Uh, did anybody else hear that? <laughs> I like to uh, <laughs> just hold in a yawn uh-huh. on the show. Are you tired? Uh, I get the feeling that your three dogs are all huskies of some kind. One of them is a German Shepherd husky mix. Thank so. you. Where's my, where's, my, where's my thing at? Uh, what are the other two? I got a, the other one's a chihuahua, and then the other one's a mutt. Uh, it's like a, 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 a poodle Karen Terrier mix. A poodle what mix? Karen Terrier mix. Karen? Terrier mix, yes. Yeah, like, a Karen they, Terrier? Yeah, yeah, that's what they told me. That sounds me. horrible. What does <laughs> the dog do? Just complain all yeah. the time? <laughs> Can I see their manager? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Asks for a different type of food? <laughs> Refuses to wear a mask? <laughs> All right. Uh, wow. So when you're a door dasher, have you ever, you know, been driving around kind of hungry? And you're like, you know, I'm going to eat some of these fries. Oh, uh, no, no. Bullshit. I, I did that Uber Eats and I got fired. You did that for Uber Eats and got fired? Yeah, I, 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 I didn't deliver a, a meal, you know, because like, uh-huh. I wasn't going to get tipped. So I was like, fuck this guy. And I just, you know, just how'd, ate it. How'd you know you weren't yeah. going to get tipped? Uh, because you could tell on the app. It'll show you whether or not you're going to get tipped. What, what was the restaurant? I hate that. Uh, it was uh, uh, Buca de Beppo. Ooh. Yeah. Fuck, what, was it, what was it, chicken parmesan? 
Uh, no, it was, it was, I forget what it was exactly. No, uh, you don't. That's garbage food. But how do you forget the oh, meal man. that got there, you fired? There was cheesecake in it. I know there was cheesecake. I remember it that. It was cheesecake? Yeah. Oh, you dirty motherfucker. <laughs> oh, my God. Not only did you eat their entree, you ate their dessert, <laughs> too, bro. Motherfucker. That is cold fucking blooded, man. That's some Pablo Escobar shit. Yeah. That's, that's the kind of life he lives, though. Look how he's dressed for oh, a DoorDash guy. He's like, oh, cheesecake. I earned this. <laughs> <laughs> fucking hell, Emilio. That's absolutely goddamn incredible. What else? Were there appetizers? Was there a salad course in this DoorDash <laughs> no, meal? No, just with the main dish and the, the right. cheesecake. That's okay. Buka, Buka yeah, Beppo, that's good. That's like better than Olive Garden, right? No. Yeah, I'll see so. It's, it's very <laughs> controversial. It that's, depends on what you're asking. That's garbage food, man. Book, they're, they're, they're like family style, <laughs> right? Red Man's about to that's cry like right <laughs> now defending <laughs> Olive Garden. No, but... but no, Look at that Peppa size. It's good. I love yeah. the tour of Italy. It's like cafeteria food. Yeah, yeah. There's certain there's certain there's certain perks. I mean So how much cocaine can we buy from you tonight? That's the... <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately none. Uh-huh. Emilio, do you do uh do you do illegal illicit drugs? Uh no, but uh, I like I liked uh, psychedelics. I think those are awesome. Oh man! Really? What kind of psychedelics have you done? Uh, I've done uh, acid, uh, shrooms. Have you had a bad trip? Yeah, I have. What happened? Huh? What happened? Uh, well, you know, just like uh, uncomfortable. You you get like the paranoia, you know, and uh, you get uh, un- uncomfortable vis- visions or hallucinations, mm-hmm. and uh, like and ice and stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> I was like, ice is at my door. <laughs> I love it. All right, Emilio. Well, fun times, man. How long have you been on stand-up? Did I ask you that? Uh, well, you know, I've been doing it for about a year on and off, but about four months consistently. and you know. Four months starting yeah. now, like four months ago? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's cool. So you really started in the middle of a pandemic. Yeah, p- uh, pr- pretty much. Wow. Well, oh. I actually, I started right before, like, March, uh, when the shutdown happened. Uh-huh. And so then I had to, you know, just stop. Have you gotten the coronavirus yet? Uh, no. Really? Yeah. Huh. Why do you think that is? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> I guess get a immune system. I don't know. Get in, get in contact with someone with, who has it. You use head and shoulders? Uh, no. <laughs> he's, a, he's a prowl guy. That's a prowl guy. Well, Emilio, so likable. You have such a great charisma. I don't know what the fuck you even talked about on stage tonight. But you're very charismatic and a fun interview. Thank you so much for coming on. There he goes, Emilio Figueroa. <laughs> on to the next one. You know, that's a lot of bucket pulls. Maybe we should do a special treat, huh? You guys like special treats? Oh, you're going to like this one, too. Ladies and gentlemen... This young man is Phoenix's own, everybody. I don't know how many of you have been to Kill Tony's here in Phoenix. How many of you have been to a live Kill Tony before? Wow, very cool. Then you probably know this young man, an absolute record setter of a comedian on this show's history because he was the youngest ever golden ticket winner, which means he can show up at any Kill Tony anywhere in the world and debut a brand new minute. There's only been five, six, or seven in the entire world. One in Australia, one in England, and uh, five here in America. This is one of the five. He was made, he won a golden ticket his first time on the show. A day before his 21st birthday, two days later, he cashed in his golden ticket again at the Comedy Store in West Hollywood a day after his 21st birthday. He's Phoenix's own, the great Tristan Bowling, everybody, at New Minute. From the ridiculously talented Tristan Bowling. Oh my goodness, Kill Tony, how we doing, huh? Yeah! Uh, two fun facts about me. Two fun facts. Uh, one, I've never been in a fight. You get it, you know? I'm not like a fuck you say type of guy. I've never been in a fight. Two, I've never sucked a dick. Less believable. I know that. For a fact, I know. I, I look like I got knee pads in the car, just in case. I need to, like, slide into first position. No, but I, I've never been in a fight, never sucked a dick. But if one happens, I'm doing the other as self-defense. You know what I mean? You know? <laughs> 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 
what would stop a fight more? Like, some dude's coming out of a TGI Friday's like, yeah, me and my friends are going to fuck you up. And you're sitting there, you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to suck your dicks. Thank you. There it is, exactly a minute. A trademark of regulars and golden ticket winners, a keen in t- internal clock. Tristan Bowling, welcome back to the show. Oh, it's so good to be here. Since I haven't been here in a minute, on, man. You've been on this show uh, numerous times, but it has been a long time. I believe yeah, your last buddy. appearance was what? Kill Tony Mania, 2019, October perhaps? Uh, October 2019. Yeah. Yeah, last time I was well, here in the flesh. Back. I love your flesh. race car jacket. I bet Thank it goes you. perfect with your race car bed. Oh, <laughs> newly single. Who wants to go home to that race car bed, huh? Is that that's true? Last time, in fact, yeah. no, you were on one of the quarantine episodes. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, and uh, we had you on um, live via the internet, and you had a girlfriend, so you guys broke up. Yeah, how long yeah. did you date for? Uh, eight months. Eight oh. months. All which right. it doesn't seem like a long time, but when you're in quarantine, you're like with them every day and have no excuse not to be. So just like ah fuck, uh. I guess we're sleeping over. Like. When did the breakup happen? Uh, on our eight-month anniversary. When was that? Uh, it was, thank you, are you her? Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, it, was, uh, it was November, it was December 1st, November 30th that night. Wow, you, were, you have it down, you, you have it really down. Yeah, dude, I got nothing else going on. I can count the seconds. <laughs> Happened the night of November 30th, but I felt the pain on December 1st. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Do you miss her? Is she dating somebody else? I do. I, 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 I swore ever since that December started that I would always dress like it's Christmas time every day yeah. after that. I said she's not going to ruin my Christmas. It's going to last uh, all 2021. <laughs> I look like the only emo wiggle. <laughs> you know? I don't even know what that means. The wiggles? Come on, uh, Fruitality on the yummy. I'm from God a different generation. Yeah. I didn't have the fucking Y'all t- stink. Teletubbies and shit. My chi cheese. What was that? Nothing. Uh, uh, do you miss her? Is she with a new person? Or I, I have no clue. Yeah, right. If she, dude, I literally. Yeah. I've Red Dan always <laughs> thinks how he lives on. You're right. Yeah, you right. Would need French fries. You break up with somebody. You can check their uh, Instagram. You, you, no, no, I haven't. No. I really, I've been off like Instagram and everything, and like our photos are still on Instagram because she's like kind of a stalkery type, Ooh. and I and I don't want her to see that I deleted them and then call me like, what the fuck. But, like, at the same time, what the fuck? Why'd you break up with me? Fuck you. Does she like, sound like that? Does she sound like a dude when she says, what the yeah. fuck? Hey, what the fuck? She's 6'8". It's fucking, oh, no. Okay. Uh, wow. You should, no, she's not. We should find some of the audience and take a photo together and put it on your Instagram so it looks like you're with a new girl right now. Oh. oh. That makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> William, what are you doing? Yeah. William, what are you doing? Go back to your stool, William. Go back to the stool. So Bowling Tristan, uh, Tristan famously, uh, from his first appearance ever since then, has al- always taken the time because he killed it his first time on the show with a freestyle rap. Yeah. And uh, ever since then, he's always given a little rap performance. A little rap. And I, I believe he's prepared something yeah. for this audience here tonight. Oh, come on. I'm sure these racists love hip-hop music. Am I correct? Oh, I wrote this on my work break today. Wow. Fuck you, I did. Fight me. Uh, there you go. Sir, relax, sir. The same guy that won't shut up. Every two seconds, this guy is saying something. Oh, wow. Brian, Look take the that. gloves it's off. It's in my left ear, constantly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, red band. Snap into a Slim Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, giving his performance of a song he wrote today. By the way, he wrote that uh, really on your lunch break? Yeah, it's, it's not tell, too long. Tell these I, people where you work. Oh, uh, I work at Trader Joe's off of Arrowhead. So, there you yeah, go. come get Joe's your Arrowhead. organics from me. I'll break your eggs, pussies. All right, All right here he is. What's the name of the song? Uh, it's just a Kill Tony thing. All I right, wrote. here he is, ladies and gentlemen, Tristan Bowling. All right. Here it is. There's a... Oh, shit. Turn it up a little bit. Turn it up. Up, 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 up. That's the opposite of up. What is... That is the exact opposite of up. Yeah, is it up? Is it up there? Can we start this shit over? Cam got like three runs of. <laughs> Can we go louder on the uh, maybe the main or something? Uh... All right, all right, all right, all right. Uh. all right. 
Never seen a pussy didn't like. Uh. <laughs> Call me a dyke. On kill Tony. The hoes are rolling. The ticket is golden. Emotional sweat. Hey. Oh, I fucked it up already. Oh, I fucked it up already. Let's do it again. Can we run it from the top? This is what happens when Welcome you work on another for episode six of hours. white freestyle rapping, everybody. <laughs> All right. uh, such great tracks as right. Ooh, I Fucked It Up. And Ooh. can we take it from the top? Uh, perhaps you've heard some of the incredible hip hop white freestyle raps like Cam Ble- couldn't even <laughs> sing the song that was wrote. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. A lot of my favorite songs were written on a lunch break at Trader Joe's. Uh, <laughs> I think right. that's how the Rizzo works, actually. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. I really hope this goes well. <laughs> Fuck me, man. I really hope this goes well. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. Okay. Uh, Never seen a pussy didn't like. Uh. Call me a dyke on Kill Tony. The show is all rolling. My ticket is golden. It's like an emotional switch with the COVID and shit. Got me in my room and I'm lonely as shit. No bitch on my dick with no money, no fans, no nothing, just bars. It's my shit. Hey, Kill Tony, Tony the homie. Believed in me when he barely know me. Gave me a golden ticket. Now he gonna show me the benefits of working hard before 20. No motherfucker, I ain't in it for the money. I'm just kind of funny. Looking for a honey, kind of cunning. With the bracket of bad bitches, the back of the band bitches. They kill him, the fan stitch. And when they gonna pull me? Hey, Kill Tony. Kill Tony, that's it. Ah. You know what? I like it, buddy. You turned it all around. Oh. You know what? I very rarely, in fact, I've never done this before in the history of the show, but you know what? You've won a golden ticket before, and now you have won the Phoenix Carrot. (laughs) There he is. Oh, that was in William's belly button. (laughs) I taste the belly button. I taste your belly button. Wow. It's blue cheese and ranch mixed together. That's impressive. <laughs> Branch. Blanche. Guys, how loud can this place get for the great Tristan Bowling, huh? <laughs> Legend on this show. 22 years old. He's been at it for years already. It's very talented. It's great. It's great. He, uh, uh, he opened up here. Uh, he opened up my stand-up show yesterday. did 10 minutes. Really good job. Oh yeah, here's the uh, here's here he is, everybody. <laughs> here he is, the man everybody wants. This is it. If you're wondering how uh, how COVID, the land that COVID goes to to die, it's right here. Here he is. Look at this. He doesn't even know which one's the clean one and which one's the dirty <laughs> one now. He's just oh. fucking wiping shit. <laughs> what? Oh, he, 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 he wipes it good. <laughs> No, this guy's good. It's totally safe. This is Anthony Fauci's grandson. <laughs> Anthony Fauci the third. It's there like William's is. condom. There you go. Um, oh wow, look at the stroke on that? this fucking guy. He's like, you know what, Tony, keep making fun of me and you won't get one of these hand jobs. <laughs> Here we go. Your next comedian goes by the name of Derek C. Derek C. Suspiciously short last name. It's the letter C. Here comes Derek. I believe that's Derek. Oh, I like this song, William. You're really killing Thank it. Thank you so much. I recorded this two days ago. Come on, make some noise for Derek C., everybody. Oh, gosh. <laughs> so, uh, the synthetic urine industry is a weird industry, right? I had a guy... Um, he handed me this box today. He was like, hey, bro, this is for you. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And he told me, that's fake pee so you can do drugs, bro. I was like, <laughs> thanks. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's all I got right now. I feel like everybody that listened to Marilyn Manson in the late 90s is on meth now. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's all I got. All right, all right, all right. Derek C. Woo! Giving it his all. Prepared 31 seconds worth of uh, material for us here tonight. I had more, but I kind of seized up there. My fault. That was my fault. What happened? Do you remember it now? Yeah. Yeah? Go ahead. Do it. Oh, okay. So, um, back 
to the synthetic urine industry, you know. Wait, the what industry? <laughs> no one knows what you're saying. Synthetic <laughs> urine? Synthetic urine industry. Synthetic <laughs> urine? Fake pee. You huh? have to enunciate, bro. Fake pee. All you right, have to sorry. pretend like these people are all police officers. The fake... <laughs> Talking back on the fake pee industry, oh. you know, I, I feel like it will be hard for me to go in there and... <clears throat> There just doesn't seem like a big variety of fake penises there to, for me to choose from, you know, because there's either the white dicks that are the big black dicks, you know. I don't know if they have one that suits me, so I'd never, I wouldn't feel comfortable just going in and asking, do you got one that matches my skin tone? Or, you know? Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Eric. <laughs> I mean, my God. There's actually some pretty funny stuff in there, believe yeah, yeah. it or not. But it was, I, don't think you, I don't think the part that was supposed to be funny was right. the funny part. It was either the white dicks or the, uh, the big black dicks. Like, it's like, why do they have to be big and black? You mean even the fake penises? The, they make the black ones bigger? I've never seen, man. Right? I thought you worked different. in the business. No. I'm You're lying saying, about working with no. synthetic urine? I'm saying... I know there's an industry for it. I think it's fucking bizarre, you know? Why is your hat so small? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. How, how, how long have you... How, did that hat come with a spinny thing on top? Or you, did you take it off at some point? It didn't really. Why is that hat so small, dude? I don't, I don't know. I'm Answer the fucking question right now. It fits my fucking head, all right? It, it doesn't fits. fit your head. Yeah, take it, it off for a second. It doesn't. It's too small for your head. Look at that fucking noggin. <laughs> <laughs> it, it stretches. Put it in. Put put it on again. Put it on. Put it in. What? I like no, that. Turn, turn your chin that way a little bit. This way. It's very Selena's oh. brother. <laughs> it's tiny, dude. It's like a Babe Ruth hat or something I'll like that. You, Are you an old-timey baseball player? <laughs> no. Is that from Build-A-Bear? Perhaps? No, no, no. <laughs> My goodness. Look at that. You can dress like Dave Attell, but you cannot write like right. Dave Attell. I'll tell you right now. Uh, Derek, this is your first time trying stand-up comedy. Please tell me it yeah. is. Yeah, I've never done that. Thank God. For comedy. the love of God. There you go. Yeah. Derek, see. Last thing you want to find out is that he's been doing it for seven years after a set <laughs> yeah, like this, that. This Trust is bizarre. Me. This is bizarre for me. Right here. Is it something you've always wanted to do? Um, I, I, I'm a big fan of Kill Tony. I've been watching for the last couple of years. I, I love it. Yeah. I love it. So, uh, but did you, that's what made you want to do it? You heard all those people and you're like, I can fucking do this shit. Well, yeah, and then the, I saw uh, there were shows here, and then we got the tickets. So I love it. So you started here. writing as soon as you found out that the shows were coming? Uh, I actually wrote that outside the gate right here. Um, okay. Have you I've, recently used synthetic urine for a job? Is that why you were talking about it? A friend of mine gave me a box today. What's the taste like? Why does it come in a box and not a bag? <laughs> it's like a box <laughs> one. It's like a box <laughs> is a great container. It's a box and it comes with a, a bottle of fake pee and then like uh, something to break to warm it up so that maybe you want to put it in your pocket right. before you use it. It's got a bag in it. There's yeah. a box with a bag. It's like boxed wine. Yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Have you ever used fake pee before for a job back in Ohio? Are you talking to me? Yeah, no. I, I did. I had to do it once. <laughs> well, for what job? Uh, gateway computers. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, and, was it? <laughs> and it was just like it, it was weird because it was it was old school technology where you just drank a bunch of this shit and then you peed out only that shit supposedly. Wow! I, I got a funny story about that as well. Do you really? Oh, now you're gonna start yeah. being funny. Really? <laughs> okay, Do so, you really, Derek? You know, Let's hear I this did. funny yeah. story, well, well, Derek. So, and make sure, hey, look, look at me. Talk right into the tip of the microphone. Keep it there okay. the whole time and enunciate. I will. I will. Go ahead. All right. So when I was 19, um, I was on um, probation for uh, drugs, and I had to, um, yeah, yeah. So I had to uh, drug test and uh, try to figure out how I could still smoke weed and take this drug test and pass it. So in an effort to do, to do that, I went to the smoke shop, and the guy sold me um, it was a shot, which was about neon green and two green pills. And the instructions for the instructions for <laughs> that were to take the pills, wait half an hour, drink a gallon of water, take the shot, and then as you uh, take your UA, you're supposed to catch it midstream, you know? But the thing that happened was, and I didn't uh, account for, <laughs> was that... Um, 
It turned my piss like neon green, like bright green, like radioactive green. It was fucking weird. And so I handed it to the lady, right? And she had it in a row of other peas, and there were a variety of colors. And mine was the only one that was green. Damn, right there. That's funnier than the shit you said, man. Wow. That is funnier yeah. than your minute. That's and real. I, that's incredible. I didn't pass that UA. They probably yeah. saw the, that it was weird, a weird color. So, uh, yeah. That's hilarious. That's fucking hilarious. Everyone else has oh, yeah. fucking regular yellow piss cups, and his looks like William's Sprite bottle. <laughs> Wow, that's fucking crazy. So tell us more about you, Derek. What were you on probation for at the age of 19? Um, I beat up my brother. You beat up your brother? Yeah, he was trying to stab me like Baraka with two knives in the He had two knives? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my goodness gracious. And then, so... Was I this mean, in your house, in your parents' house? Yeah, yeah Yes, and um, I didn't mean to, but he was trying to stab me. And then when the cops showed up, they arrested me instead. So, yeah. Uh, so he came at you with two knives and you just beat him up? Yeah, yeah. See, he's moments like this make me wish I knew the Mexican side okay. of my family. You know? So, I feel like I missed out on He tried shit. to stab me, then he tried to shoot me. And his friends were there and they took ev- all the. This guy uh, fucking evidence. sucks at yeah. killing people. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm not Mexican, I'm Native American. So. Two, oh, two wow. not God, I'm Native sorry. American. Yeah. Oh shit. There goes shit. my SNL. When thing. you say he tried to shoot you, are we talking about with a bow and arrow? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. My goodness. What an, what an embarrassing way but, uh, to die well, that would be. I drove down here from uh, Tucson, Arizona, and my girlfriend over here, she goes to uh, the U of A's for IU. What are you uh, doing? College? Giving out shout outs yeah. over yeah. here? Yeah. Yeah. Native American to dating a college student? Would you yeah. help her get a do you help her get a scholarship with no, your she's, she's also Native American. She she has her own she scholarship. She what? She's Native American, she has her own scholarship. Are you guys of the same tribe? Yeah. Are you guys allowed to fuck if you're in the same <laughs> tribe? Doesn't that mean you guys are going to make like special special Indians or something? Because the kid just won't stop beating on the drum all day? I don't know, man. Hey, this is fucking cool. This is fucking cool, man. <laughs> you and your girlfriend smoke pot? You guys get high i i i i Come here no. and hit this shit. I actually, I actually quit. During the new year, <laughs> I just stopped. I was doing you just quit. smoking too much. My tolerance is way too high. Okay. Funny thing that happened, though, was Uh-oh. I started smoking CBD, right? Uh-huh. CBD. And I must have gotten the wrong fucking strand. And uh, don't let them think that it's all just anti-anxiety because anxiety, that shit was giving me panic attacks like a motherfucker. It gave you a panic attack? Yeah. yeah. My goodness. CBD yeah. did? Yeah. You pussy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They sell CBD Hawaiian at the haze. grocery store, man. Go get the, get the Hawaiian haze. I'm asking for Hawaiian haze. Oh do you have like the Do you have the full headdress and everything like that? Do you no. ever go crazy? No, no, no. no. Yeah, so no. smoke CBD, Cherokee, <laughs> Boise, Dakota. <laughs> I was what? I was actually talking to my dad the other day, and I told Larry I was eating Indian food, and he's like, "What are you talking about, venison?" <laughs> Thought you meant Native American. But huh? it was the other kind of Indian. It was like some sag paneer. Okay. Uh, I think I, I actually think sag paneer <laughs> went on earlier in this show. Um, <laughs> let's talk more with Derek here. Uh, what what are some Native American things about you? Any traditions or anything like that that we should know about? Uh, no. No. You know any special tribal dances or any uh, special no, no, no. Indian uh, things? Any come in- on, you know no. one. How Just many of you want to see some Indian tricks, no, no, no. huh? <laughs> he's a real goddamn Indian, he'll prove it to us. <laughs> Show us some Indian shit. He's got to do it. You hear that drum? You know what that sound means. It's Indian shit. That's all, that's all I got right there. That's all I got. What, hey, what did you do? I wasn't even looking. You, you talked to an eagle. I shot him with a bow and arrow. Do it again. I didn't see. Yeah, I saw it. Why are you doing that to Wait, me? okay, stop what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, stop. Jesus Christ. I saw that. What are you trying to prove? <laughs> He's bleeding to death right now. Do you have any turquoise on you? No. Can you speak Native American? No, I cannot. <laughs> Can you paint with all the voices of the mountain? <laughs> <laughs> no. Is there, what, is there anything Indian about you? Not really, no. My God. What are Indian penises like? You hear about everyone else's yeah. penis. This penis is big. This right. penis is small. 
What's the native? Do you, does your penis own its own casino? No, <laughs> but it does get a portion of the casino profits uh, every two years. Mm. Wait, what? Huh? You haven't what? What about two years? I said it does get a portion of the casino profits every two okay. years. Okay. Yeah. You have a lot of sex with your girlfriend? Yeah. Yeah? yeah. You guys have any funny Indian positions that you do? <laughs> No. Indian style. <laughs> Indian style. <laughs> Just fucking sit cross legged on top of one another. <laughs> Super uncomfortable. Super uncomfortable. Your shins hurt after that, folks. Uh, come on, there must be something you guys do, right? You, you, ever, ever, you, ever, you, ever, <laughs> you ever fuck a timber wolf? No. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh Red band. Come on, there must be something you guys do that's Indian ass. Come on. You ever fucking put on a fucking uh, feather headdress and just run it across her body while no. fingering your own butthole? You ever fuck Tony? Kevin Costner? No. <laughs> okay. There, there's, there's n- actually, there's not a lot of things that I do that are Native American associated. I yeah. Think. How about your parents? Do they do a lot of Native American stuff? They drink? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. All right, Derek. Well, you know what? Like, uh, like uh, many, uh, many Native Americans that have been on this show before, it's now time for a white man to take your place on the stage. Yeah. So uh, there he goes. Derek C., everyone. He's on social media at... C B L A. Plus Derek? I don't know, man. This guy, this guy writes like a Native American guy. <laughs> it's a very multicultural show, Tony. It really is. We're famous for our diversity. I mean, look. Look at our... What ethnicity are you, uh, Aaron? Hispanic. Hispanic, everybody. Look, another Hispanic. How about a hand for the Hispanics, everyone? Yeah. Great people. We love them. They love us. We all love each other. Put your hands together for Andrew Orellana. Andrew Orellana. Ding, ding, dong. Play the song. William's playing a song. Here comes Andrew Orellana. One more time for Andrew, everybody. (laughs) Uh, I just found out that there's an uh, app for parents to tell you the number of registered sex offenders in the area. Uh, I wonder if other pedophiles use that to kind of, like, gauge the competition in that area. Because, like, nobody wants to be the small fish in a big pond. Nobody wants to be ten Capri Suns deep on this little twink just to see a dude come in with a cooler trench coat than you and tell you Timmy's not big enough for the both of us. And uh, thinking of pedophiles, that made me wonder, uh, do pedophiles in China also have to adhere to the one-child policy? (laughs) It's like the pedophile and the dad are both really hoping it's a boy this time. Um, I always hear a dress for the job you want, uh, but I dress like this, so it looks like the only job I'm applying for is a hand job in an Applebee's parking lot. Andrew Orellana. Incredible performance. Probably the performance of the night so far. Welcome to the oh, show, yeah. Andrew. Thank you. Thank you for having me. How long have you been doing stand up? Uh, a little over a year. A little really? Over a year. Yeah. All wow. here in Phoenix? No, I started off in uh, Orange County. Okay. Started off in Orange County. How'd yeah. you end up out here? Uh, COVID, my parents moved out here, so I moved into, I moved into uh, in with them in, uh, in Goodyear. Okay, what part yeah. of town do you guys live in? Uh, Goodyear. Goodyear, Arizona. Oh, Goodyear is the town. Yeah, Goodyear uh-huh. is the town, yeah. All right. Tire. Interested. They make tires there? <laughs> no, no, I have no fucking clue. I barely stare and uh, stay in a Goodyear. Everything, I just do comedy What do you here. do for work? Uh, I work with my mother. She owns a Mexican ice cream shop. Okay, Mexican yeah, ice yeah. cream yeah, shop. Yeah, so, that's, yeah. That sounds fucking great. Yeah, you guys are always welcome if you want. What's the name of it? Yeah, uh, La Michoacana Premium on uh, 67 The Camelback. Wow! Shout out. Look at that. That's Does she awesome. make uh, raspados? Yeah, raspados, everything. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. We got ice cream paletas, raspados, paletas. everything. Paletas. Yeah. Oh, 
Placencia? Pl- what? You are uh, you are the first person we've ever had on the show who has the same size top and bottom lip. It is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it is an anomaly. This guy has two bottom lips. That's, one literally, on the top. The, that's literally the first thing everybody says about me. Is like, damn, those motherfucking lips are big, bro. I mean, it's <laughs> wild. Holy shit. It looks like they were drawn by like the Family Guy people. Dude, I, I look like, like a caricature of just my lips. <laughs> yeah. It looks yeah. like when they have those videos of people getting air blown in their mouth. I'm like, ah. You, <laughs> uh, everyone says yeah, I you look always like... look like you're skydiving. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone says that uh, I have the lips of the guy in Monster Zinc that gets his lips sucked out by the vacuum shit. Okay, okay. You have a lot of friends that watch that movie. Uh, <laughs> they know the references <laughs> very well. <laughs> Andrew, uh, what do you do for work? Uh, I make the ice cream for the shop. So. Oh, yeah. wow. Look at you, yeah. you little Willy Wonka motherfucker. All right. <laughs> Got that fucking Oompa Loompa muscle. That's what's going on <laughs> over there. <laughs> Mexican ice cream <laughs> is so good. <laughs> So do you guys like make like like legit like ice cream with like the the rocks and the salt and stuff like that, or do you do like uh, put it in a machine and hit start? Or? Oh, we we got a machine. It's it's oh, yeah. Cool. We just we mix it up and we mix everything together. But that's like the most strenuous part is because we use a lot of like fruit and shit to make it. That shit fucking sucks. That's to cool. Me. Yeah, mm-hmm. but we use a machine. What's dad's part in all of this? Uh, my dad works at Costco, so you know typical Mexican shit. Okay. All right, that's cool. You got a lot of brothers and sisters. Uh, one older sister, one younger brother. Okay. Yeah. They ever come at you with knives or bows and arrows <laughs> or anything like that? No, not not yet. Not yet. No. That's so fun. Yeah. How about your love life? You got a girlfriend? No, not even a little bit. <laughs> really? Yeah. Not even a little bit? Not even a little the bit. The fucking no. top lip like that? Are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Where are the ladies that like getting their vaginas eaten he'll, out? He'll, he'll get stuck. They, they would stick <laughs> together. Yeah, the p- the p- <laughs> it'll get confused. The pussy's gonna be like, "Oh my god, there's another pussy coming at me!" <laughs> <laughs> look at the fucking, look at the meat curtains on this fucking <laughs> pussy coming directly at me, and it's got teeth. <laughs> wow. What do you mean? When's the last time you've been with a girl, Andrew? Um, it was about um four months ago. Okay, yeah. what was that like? Like a Tinder date or something like that? Uh, I met him at work. Yeah. Met- Met him at work? Yeah, met, met her at work. Oh. Don't you work at a family shop? That's kind of fucking weird. Like, yeah, look at that. <laughs> is it like your cousin or something? <laughs> hey, we're making Mexican cream pies now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. No, yeah, yeah. It's been a minute. Do you miss Orange County? Yeah, I, I do. I'll, I miss it a lot. Because I went to school um, in Orange I went to college in Orange County, so. Cool. Uh, that's where all my friends are. I moved out here and fucking no, nobody except for the comedy scene. So. For one year, man, you seem like you've been doing it a lot longer. I mean, seriously, like uh, you must have been going up a lot in wow. one year. <laughs> when I was in Orange County, um, I would go. I would be doing like sixteen mics a week. As wow, as, wow. And like, I didn't have a car, so a lot of it was taking the bus and hitching rides with other Damn. comics. Oh my yeah. goodness! Uh, your mom's place. Is it true that it has an ice cream paint job? <laughs> What? <laughs> uh, it's a hip hop <laughs> reference. Um, all right. So tell us something else that we'd be amazed to know about the life of Andrew or Alana. Um, what's it called? Um, I used to want to be like a chef. I used to be really good at cooking. I was like one of my favorite things other than comedy was cooking. So like, I, if I wasn't like any better at cooking, I'd probably be doing that right now. You're not a good cook? Absolutely not. I'm fucking dog shit. How, do, how, do, how can you be a bad cook? I've never really understood that. Maybe, I, maybe it's in genetics because my dad's a, an incredible, incredible chef. My mom is ridiculously talented. So maybe I just have a knack for it. I've never really understood. So what happens? Do you forget to put something in? Do you... No, I just lose focus and just burn everything. Uh, how do you lose focus? What happens? How do you lose focus if you're, do you leave the kitchen? No, I'm just like on my phone. I'll be like, all right, this is cooking oh. for a minute. Look at my phone and be like, fuck, I have to cl- open up a yeah, window. Yeah, you can't look at your phone if you want to cook, dude. Yeah, yeah. Like, weirdo. Turn off your phone, maybe. Geez. Sorry, sorry. I mean, some of these people look like they look at their phone, but they also look like bad cooks. <laughs> <laughs> There's okay. a kitchen in the back if you want to. <laughs> How many of you want this guy to make you some nachos right now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> make us a small carrot. Can we let this guy cook? <laughs> yeah. We, I would like an order of uh, carrot salad, please. <laughs> All right. We're stressing with the carrot, man. Andrew, you uh, really, really, really great performance. You put it all together here tonight. Thank Thanks you. Up. Thank How you old very are you? much. I just turned 22. 22 years wow, old. This is man. the future. 
You're seeing the future here tonight. Yeah. Andrew Orlana. Don't stop, man. You, you got Thank it. Thank you, guys. Have a good night. There he goes. Big Ooh. close from Andrew Orlana. He's on social media at Orlana. At, what is that? L L O D? L L A A. Yeah, he's got it. You got it, buddy. If you keep on, keep it up, man, you got it. There you go. Absolutely. Many, many Latinos on the show here tonight. Uh, for those of you that are into that sort of thing. Uh, <laughs> Dustin, what are you? half Latino, half what? Uh, Oklahoman. Oh. <laughs> half Mexican and Oklahoman, yeah. Josh Jones, you can come on up to the stage. Here's some music from William Montgomery. And here is Josh Jones. The stage. Oh, this is a new song. Ooh, the ladies are going wild for Josh Jones. This is very exciting. Wow, this is a space song. Yeah, I did this uh, two one nights more, ago. One more time for Josh Jones, everyone. So back when shit was kind of normal here in Arizona, I tried to take my dad to the water park. It was crazy, though. The kid at the ticket booth, he wouldn't let us in. He stared at me. I stared back and said, dude, what gives? He replied with, uh, sir, we, uh, we, we don't let people into the park after they've been uh, uh, cremated. <laughs> yeah, I guess I didn't want dad clogging up the water filters or some shit. Don't worry, for those of you not laughing, this is just a joke, okay? I don't have the fucking dude's remains yet. Yeah, no, he's still chilling. Get it? Funeral home, morgue, fridge, chilling? No? Ugh. Might sound kind of crass, but I never went and picked his remains up. But hear me out. Dad's last wishes always were to just be thrown in a ditch somewhere, so in a very roundabout way, he got what he wanted, okay? Woo. All right. Josh Jones, let's talk about it. You went for it. I'm guessing this is uh, coming from some sort of truth. Your father has passed away recently. Step on up to that microphone. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, how, f <laughs> how long ago did your dad die? Uh, like a year and a half, two years ago, what did something he, did like he that. <laughs> <laughs> what did he die from? Disappointment? <laughs> uh Pretty good guess, but... No, that's fun. Were you guys close? Fuck no. Really? Uh, no, we weren't close at all. It was oh. convenient timing that I even got to talk to him before he croaked, because I used to have a grudge against the fucker. Why? Well, he wasn't a good dad. Otherwise, do you think I'd be saying this kind of shit about him? Was he? he had it coming, kind of. Okay, like, no, I thought, I thought... Jesus. All right, what did he do to have it coming? I mean, there was this one time... When I turned 12 and he bragged about how he bought me a VCR on sale for 20 bucks when I asked for a PlayStation. Let me through a birthday party, but I had to pay for the pizza myself, so. He was one of those kind of dads. I don't know. He was there? <laughs> All right. You got you a mean, VCR, man. VCR That's pretty cool. VCR back when, how, what year was that? Dude, this was like I once asked for. I once asked for. Remember, I asked for a computer and my mom got me a word processor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't go around <laughs> wishing death upon her. I'm not going to do bits about how I, she's f not even cremated. Well, no, he got cremated. I just never picked him up. Really? You, should, you know what? When you get those ashes, you know what you should do? You should put them inside the VCR that he got you for, uh, for Christmas. <laughs> Snort your dad. Just, then just hit the rewind button and uh, <laughs> let the party begin. I mean, uh, chances are they're at the same fucking dump by now. Okay, what's your relationship with your mother like? <laughs> oh, I actually, uh, I live with her. I play caregiver for her. No, 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 it ain't like that, all right, whoever's scoffing. I had to move in with her to play caregiver for her because the state wouldn't supply the funds to do so, and she had a broken ankle, fell over in the bathtub. And looking, she, she a big, big lady? To... She's a big lady? I'm getting Gilbert Grape vibes over here. <laughs> oh, that's going to be terrifying. <laughs> no, she's just like a really Preferably. frail old lady that looks way older than she should. Oh, why she do you... Was, why she do was you mething around a lot. Okay, uh -huh. really. How about you? What's your drug uh, history like? I smoke a lot of pot. Uh -huh. uh, I mean, I've done a lot of drugs, but now I just drink occasionally. The tattoo on your face, what does that mean to you? What does that represent? How did that happen? 
He has a tattoo on the left between his... Yeah, it looks like a go. staff, like you, you killed a hobbit. Somebody <laughs> told me it looks like a fucking Viking version of Gucci Mane's ice cream tattoo outside. No one knows what you're talking about. What is that? What does that mean to you? What is that, the COVID strand? No, it's, uh, it represents me having very bad choices in life, I guess. I don't know. It's it really what it is. It's a your alone, face tattoo symbol. represents to you the bad choices in your life? <laughs> Wow. I probably could have worded that a bit better now that it's You know, I've never told this story on uh, stage of any kind before, but I will say it is that um, when I first moved to California when I was 20 years old, I was living with my brother for a little bit, and uh, he had a friend. We would sell pot to him, basically. It's a little 20 sacks at the time. And the guy had just gotten a tattoo. You know, back then, this is a long time ago, 16 years ago, or whatever. And... Um, when, the, when you were selling pot to somebody, you would want them to stay at your place for a little bit so that people wouldn't get too suspicious that you're selling drugs. You don't want people just coming in and leaving. I don't know if you guys remember what it was like when pot was illegal. Uh, but um, anyway, the guy had just gotten a tattoo, and his tattoo said uh, whatever year it was, like forget 2007 or something like that. And we're like, why did you uh, get that tattoo? He's like, it was a horrible year for me, 2007. Uh, my grandmother died. And I'm thinking to myself, you got a tattoo that says forget 2007. And you're going to think about 2007 every fucking time you look at it. It was on his left shin. I mean, it's the dumbest thing ever. And you just reminded me of that. You reminded me of the dumbest thing ever. Right, and mine's on my face. Yeah. I can, I can one-up it. I've been dumber in front of you before. Really? What happened? Do you remember that time on your virtual mic when a motherfucker tried to juggle two shoes and a jewel? That was you? Yeah, that was me, man. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. That, Wait, what that happened? Went, that went bad, too. That was on the uh, pandemic, one of the pandemic episodes. Wait, what did he do? He's like, I can juggle. Good. And I'm like, what do you have to juggle? He's like, I don't have anything. I just have a couple shoes and a jewel pen. And he just immediately dropped everything. Yeah. <laughs> they got any more of those carrots or perhaps some oranges? Ooh, you you need you want to juggle something? Hey, give me three. Redemption song. Somebody who? <laughs> he just needs groceries. That's what he's, he's <laughs> tricking us. <laughs> Can Does anybody th- have some sausage? Thank you. Thank you. That's Perhaps funny because socks. My friend that I went to the show with told me to bring two potatoes and an onion in my back pocket, actually. I'm <laughs> kind of regretting I didn't at this point. I think I had you as a Sims character once. <laughs> was it the ones that it, you ended up drowning in the pool? <laughs> it was an overdose, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't even know they could do that. But. <laughs> What's your love life like, Josh Jones? Not very good. Why is that? I mean, I would presume it's because I'm a dumpster fire of a person. Girls love that shit. Girls love dumpster fires with tattoos over their wrists. They love that shit. Well, then I'm really, really bad then because... Wow. No confidence, but the good news is we have shit that you can juggle. Here you go, buddy. It's juggle time, bitch. Here he is, juggling oranges, everybody. Wow. Wow. The crowd goes absolutely wild. Whoa. Wow. And you've killed someone in the audience. I can't believe the only guy on the show that's not Mexican juggled oranges here tonight. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely incredible. (laughs) Mind-blowing. No, keep them. I want you to keep them. Those are your oranges now. Absolutely nobody wants those. (laughs) It's going to rot in like two days. Yeah, it's not not going to be worth it. It's going to be worth it. I'll give you a virtual signature uh, sometime. Wow. I'm just kidding. Don't, don't sit know. down now. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> you can make anything. You can, wow. you can make anything. You just have to keep them, man. See, this is why I didn't want to show well, up with geez. potatoes in the pocket. Jesus, and an onion Josh, and relax, oh, you freak. Man. God, now I see why your dad hated you. Yeah. <laughs> there he goes, Josh Jones, everybody. Yeah. We'll, do, we'll do one more after this. Time. He had a good nose. He was like a Whoville nose or something like that. Ooh, <laughs> good news. We had a woman on? We haven't had a woman on yet. No, no women. 
What do you guys think? Should I pull till we get a woman on, huh? All right, let's see what we got here. I don't think dead weight is a woman, huh? <laughs> I mean, that's what I used to call my ex. <laughs> Butch Lord right, probably is isn't awesome. a woman. That's not Butch a Lord woman. is here. You know Butch? I know Butch. Butch has been, the, yeah, Butch has uh, been around, man. Damien isn't a woman. Oh, there, this is a woman. How about Celia Contreras? <laughs> Whoa, wow. big pop. A lot of people Ooh. like her. Big pop from this audience. This is very. I don't understand how people are getting real big pops in this room. Celia appears to be famous. Celia, no. get up here. Everybody's oh, wait, doing we know it. her. Oh, yeah, the legendary. Hell, yeah, make some noise for Celia Contreras. Let's get into it. I'm a bigger girl, so I have to take two Plan B pills in case the first one gets lost. <laughs> I actually think they call it Hidden Valley Ranch because the more I eat it, the less visible my vagina becomes. Also, a lot of baby carrots have been nipped inside. They're not going to lie. You guys like dad jokes? Here's one. My dad had a really long rap sheet. Sometimes I'd wrap it around myself and pretend he was hugging me. <laughs> what was weird was there was a lot of domestic abuse charges on there, and that doesn't feel right. He was here illegally. Shouldn't they have been imported abuse charges? My dad will do a lot of drugs and alcohol. The only time he could do a straight line was if a dollar bill was involved. <laughs> My favorite stepdad was very open-minded, especially when that .45 caliber tore through the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> it was a hollow occasion, but we know he had a blast, right? <laughs> Suicide. Nice. Celia Contreras! <laughs> ay, 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 Fuck yeah. Ay, ay. Welcome. You've been on this show before. I've never got to get on. I, really? really? Yeah, I hitchhiked for a month. That's how I know this fool. I yeah, went to we the show every time, didn't get to go up. Okay. Well, welcome, welcome. Thank I absolutely you. love your style. How long have you been on stand-up? Four years. Four years. Uh, where at? Um, I started off in Flagstaff, Arizona, then I moved here to do it. Okay. <laughs> awesome. That's incredible. You have such a cool style. Oh, thank you. How much time do you think you have all together? Um, I got a solid 10. I'm trying to, like, work my way up to 20. Okay, awesome. You want to start off tomorrow night's stand-up show at uh, 7.30 here? I would love that. There you go. We'll see you tomorrow night, 7.30. Celia Contreras. <laughs> Booyah. Let's talk some more, though. Let's find out more about you. I want to okay. find out some interesting stuff about you. Tell us about your life that we might find uh, compelling, Celia. Um, I've done a lot of uh, c uh, community service. I was a Girl Scout for nine years. Oh, okay. I'm guessing you specialized in the cookies? <laughs> <laughs> I was one of the top sellers, yes. <laughs> and one of the top buyers. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't pay for them. <laughs> <laughs> I, love I just it. lied and complained there was water damage in the car. I just like. <laughs> It snows in Flagstaff, so it's all like, I don't know what happened. <laughs> oh, my God. You're so funny. I Yay. love it. Uh, tell us more. Uh, boyfriend, girlfriend, what's going on there? Anything? I do all right. Hell, yeah. I bet you do. I bet you fucking do. I'm not even going to ask anymore. <laughs> Hell, yeah. You fucking, you fucking roll with the punches. It's incredible. I also do martial arts. Really? Oh. I do. Hapkido, oh. kendo, kendo, and jiu-jitsu. Oh, fuck. Damn, look at that. I'm not fucking with you. Yay. I don't know what color belt you wear, but... Uh, it's brown. Uh, okay. <laughs> Most things on this show tonight are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> represent. Hell yeah. Another one. Uh, <laughs> Celia, <laughs> anything else other than stand-up that you're passionate about? Um, I like to read and write a lot, but also the martial arts. Yeah. I taught for 10 years. I love it. I love the martial arts. How often do you do that? Um, I got really depressed and replaced that with comedy. 
Uh-huh. But I do practice with my swords like once a week. Swords? Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> you you practice with swords plural? So you have you ever have two swords at the same time? I'm working on do making a double sword form, but like I'm failing at it miserably. It's oh. a work in progress. Because I do eskrima sticks, size, I'm shit with nunchucks, but I can handle them. It's like, eh. That's awesome. Oh, look at that. That's incredible. My God, I love it. Nobody's fucking with you, Celia. Damn. Is that a little hamster that you have? What is that little Yeah, cutie? it's my emotional support. His name is Forty. Ah. Oh. oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Now I'm sort of scared to have be in the same green room as you tomorrow night. <laughs> It's pretty exciting. Uh, not a lot of emotional support <laughs> hamsters usually make it to my work zone, but uh, don't um, kill uh, Yeah, the uh, the green room is just out back in the alleyway. We're all gonna be there. No, I'm kidding. Um, I love it. No, that's so cool, Celia. Whatever you are, you fucking own it. That's for sure. And that's probably uh, I'm an alcoholic. Oh, okay, oh. okay. <laughs> Crowd goes wild. Phoenix, Arizona comes alive for alcoholism, the one word that unites everyone. What's your, uh, what's your drink of choice? What do you like? Uh, 40s. That's why his name's 40. Oh, wow. Look at you. Hell yeah. And that, now I see why she does so good in the bedroom. You know what I yeah, mean? She's, uh, there's a certain type of guy that uh, <laughs> likes both 40s and... It's trailer trash. Shorties, thank you, sir. This is the first time I've ever taken help from someone in the front row. Thank you. Forties uh, <laughs> and shorties. Um, okay. So, what kind of forties? Old English? Steel Reserve. Wow. Hell yeah! Look at you impressing this audience with your alcoholism. When How did, did that you s- quit drinking? Huh? When did you quit drinking or do you still drink? Oh, no, I still drink. I had a 40 uh, okay. this morning. <laughs> a 40 this morning? Yeah, I didn't drink now because I didn't want to fuck up if in case I got called up. Smart, <laughs> smart. Yeah. We've been trying to teach William Montgomery how to do that for years. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, fuck yeah? No, what do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean? No, no seriously, what, what do, do you mean? mean? No, no, seriously. seriously what, what do you, do you mean? mean? No, no, seriously. Okay, okay that's a What no. do you mean? William. No, seriously. <laughs> All right. I'm telling you, it's the band microphone. Hey. It just happens. Once they get behind it, they just lose everything. <laughs> What's that? No, also, Red Band. You. We're not doing the carrot trick with PBS Celia and William. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, uh, Red Band has reminded me of something pretty interesting. Nope. Uh, <laughs> I remember. You remember? I remember. Let me ask I you. I don't know if we should do it. Why? It's gross. Why? And I might get infected. Oh, come on. You're no, I might. Can... Okay, forget it then. Then we won't do it. You ever, uh, you ever, uh, you, you, have you ever uh, seen like Dr. Pimple Popper? Oh, yeah. Are you into that type of thing? Yes, I am. Would you be interested in popping someone's pimple? Fuck yes. William, so here's the deal, I have a everybody. bad pimple on my arm. William, don't touch it. William, don't oh, touch it. Oh William, God. hey. William, William, look to your left, William. My right? <laughs> oh, God. I'm uh, kidding. Okay, so William has a gigantic pimple to the... To the point to where it was what we were talking about for a half hour before tonight's stand-up show. And I told him uh, in the green room, I go, that thing is so massive. It's, it's so, for, for the listeners on the show, it's fucking disgusting. No, it's not. I took a video of it earlier. I mean, yes, William, it is. No, it's not. But you see... No, it's not! The weird thing about you saying that is that it lessens the, uh, the, the excitement of how disgusting... No, it's huge. It Celia, what do you think about this thing? I've seen bigger... Damn, look at that. It's one of the most disgusting pimples. Red Band's going to get closer. He's going to get on it with his camera. Are you really going to pop it? Uh, it w- are you going to? Can I? Would you be willing to? Yes. Um, in one of the most disgusting things uh. to happen in the history of our show, Celia is now going to pop Williams. By the way, for Your those of you the pimple is filled with <laughs> white goo. Clean. It has a black yes. spot in the middle of it. Those of you sitting... Oh, God, no. It's so disgusting. Can we get a mic in there? <laughs> We've had some highs and some... This one lady's hiding behind the plexiglass. <laughs> it's bleeding. It's bleeding. 
All right, do we have a napkin over there? God, this went so much worse than I thought it would. Is there blood everywhere? <laughs> Don't wipe that shit on me. Don't wipe that shit on me. No, no, no. Okay, guys, that's enough. There's wow. a napkin. Thank you so much. That's one more best, that, was, that was the best 90 day fiance I've ever seen. <laughs> it is a bunch of blood. <laughs> that was a good one. So it popped and a bunch of blood came out and it's Thank all you. over her fingers right now. It's all good. She's a fucking trooper. She's a cold blooded assassin. She's got a fucking 40, 40 will take care of it. Um, Celia, I'm so excited to uh, have you perform on my show tomorrow night in front of a big live audience. Just Sweet. Thank you. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. I think it's 7 or 7.30 or something like that. Okay. Hell yeah. There she goes. Celia Contreras, everybody. Thank you, Celia. Yeah. Thank you, Celia. Dreams coming true. You guys want to go to the bucket one more time and get out of here, huh? Here we go. Your final comedian of the night goes by the name of... Yeah, it's okay. He'll come to the He'll wipe it down and then come to the stage. Your final comedian of the night goes by the name of Zach Allen. Here we go. Zach Allen. Here he comes, moving very quickly. Very quickly. All right. Here he is. There he is. All right. Everybody, there's a fresh, clean microphone, and here is Zach Allen. One more time for Zach, everyone. Bless you. Bless you. I recognize the way I sound. I've got a good voice. I got my current job over the phone. First day I came in there, like, you sounded so much better looking. <laughs> it's true. I'm better at phone sex than I am at regular sex. <laughs> it's a lot better for me to say G-spot than try to actually find it. <laughs> Girls are like, say it again, baby. EA Sports. It's in the game. I've had this voice since I was in the sixth grade. If you heard me talking as a 12-year-old, you would think I had a different role on To Catch a Predator. <laughs> I was a man-child. I stopped growing when I was in the eighth grade. I was a 6'4 eighth grader. That's a fun time. Your parents can't discipline you when they're wearing your hand-me-downs. They get mad at me. They say, Zach, what would you do if you were in my shoes? I'm like, well, you're in my shoes. I thought you'd have empathy. <laughs> Bless you. Uh, Zach Allen. <laughs> Zach, have you been on the show before? Nope, never. Really? You yeah. seem so familiar. Are you Jesus Christ? Yeah. <laughs> That's what no. it is. Okay. Good Lord almighty. <laughs> it kind of looks like our, uh, the dude from the comedy store, uh... Curtis. Curtis, yeah. Yeah, you could be the you could be his stand in or something like that. I have general. a very generic white guy face. There's a lot of us. All right. Jeez Louise. You okay. Say that very threatening. Like yeah. there's a lot of <laughs> sorry. us. Sorry. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> say it like you There's just more got... than you know. <laughs> <laughs> and we're armed. What? Uh, so a couple weeks ago you were in DC storming the Capitol, is yeah. that correct? Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. You had the uh, bull horns on or something like that? Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> what do you do for fun? I golf a lot. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Tall I'm golfer. Not a very good golfer. But how, how long have you been doing it for? Uh, not very long, a couple of years. Okay. Um, you golf with friends? Did they get you into it? Yeah, just I'm from Montana, so okay. you know the fact I can do this year-round, it's been so much nicer. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You do anything fun on the golf course? You smoke pot? You drink? What's your go-to? Uh... I drink, yeah. Yeah, what do you like to drink? Just beer. I don't, yeah, I don't have a preference. IPAs. Big IPA fan. Okay. Uh... All right, Zach. Uh, you play musical instruments? No, no. Really? No. You don't know how to play a guitar? No. <laughs> Jesus <Yeah>. Christ, man. <laughs> Bongos or something? Uh, hacky sack? I played trumpet in middle school band. Oh. Shop? Trumpet. Do I shop? What did you say? Trumpet. trumpet. Oh, trumpet. Yeah, yeah. I knew you were going to say Trump when you came up here for some <laughs> reason. You seem more like a didgeridoo type of man if I've ever <laughs> seen one. And a good old American didgeridoo. Uh, what's your, uh, your go-to uh, maneuver in the bedroom to impress a lady? I, I don't really have one. It's, it's all about what they're into. 
Wow, yeah. what a pussy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this fucking guy. It's what they're into. What do you end up just massaging their feet all night or something like that? Just no. scratching <laughs> their back? <laughs> Jesus Christ, this poor guy just fucking jerking off at the end of a long night. <laughs> Oh, she's finally asleep. Time to time to relieve myself. <laughs> My God, what do you mean? It's just what they're into. I I don't know. Do you, I, get, do you get laid a lot? I I do all right. What does that mean to you? I I do all right. I'm you not. You should be doing great. Look I, at this fucking guy. <laughs> I'm a modest guy sexually. I try to be. Uh, what does that mean? I just don't. I I don't talk about it very often. Well, let's talk about it. No. <laughs> Let's talk about it. You, you know what? You, you ever do any special Jesus Christ bedroom tricks? <laughs> <laughs> I turn their water into wine and I remove their leprosy. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. You ever fuck them twice at the same time and then call it the second coming? <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. The passion. It's the passion of the Christ. Oh, I want to know, have you ever seen the rain? <laughs> <laughs> All I can say. That is true. How did you survive that pl- Leonard Skinner plane crash? <laughs> Didn't a bass hit you in the head? Is that? <laughs> um, so tell us more. What else? Other than golf, there must be some stuff. You don't play music? You, uh, you meditate? I, d- I walk a lot. That's oh, my big thing. I go on a lot yeah. of long walks. Really? Yeah. And you're not Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I just like to go on long walks, help people when I can, you know. So you don't jog, you just go on long walks? Yeah, I, I, I have bad knees, so it's tough for me. I, I just don't jog anymore, so I like walking. Why do you have bad knees? I played basketball for a long time. And, okay. Yeah. Man, you notice your knees are, like, really low. They're, like, really close to your feet, too. <laughs> what the fuck, man? They really are. They really <laughs> are. For a, so weird. for a second, I thought he had four ankles. <laughs> Absolutely incredible. I know I'm physically flawed, but fuck, man. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> My God. Welcome to another episode of Kill Loney. It's a low knee joke. <laughs> very rarely get to do those. Yeah, he does. He's very uh, oddly shaped and a very long body, shoulder to waist. Yeah. What is. Go- uh, that is weird. Tremendously long uh, <laughs> waist to knees. And then, from for those of you listening, from his knees to his. Shoes, it's about four and a half inches. Uh, it's really it's so weird. Absolutely incredible. Can I draw you? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I love it. Uh, so, Zach, have, uh, have you already had the coronavirus? I did, yeah. Yeah? In June. Uh, how did you get it? Uh, doing a show. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's what was right. it like? What were your symptoms? I just got really sleepy for like two days. I couldn't taste. Ah. That was it, but I was pretty When you couldn't taste, did you uh, eat a girl's ass or anything fun like that? I did not, no. No, because you're just into <laughs> what she wants. <laughs> no. Have you ever eaten a girl's ass before? Never. Ha- what? Is there a girl in the audience that'll <laughs> let this guy eat her ass right now on the show? Damn, there's someone losing their mind back there. Someone, <laughs> some drunk lady is very excited. <laughs> I've always wanted Jesus to eat my ass. <laughs> Are you down for that, or you just haven't done it yet? I haven't done it yet. Ah. Just... Why do you think you haven't done it? Wait, what'd you say, lady? <laughs> she has a... Hum- what? She's All right, down. come up here real quick. <laughs> 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 All right. This is uh, I don't know if there's a waiver that we can sign or something like this for whatever. You have about to, to at least wear a mask on your chin. You but I have, yeah. <laughs> I have hundreds of witnesses that heard her say that uh. she's down. I don't know what happened. Oh, maybe she just fell down and she's like, "I'm down! Somebody help me up!" It's clutching at a life alert. Oh yeah. <laughs> What are they clapping for? Is somebody coming to the stage? Oh, shit. I don't know about you guys, but there's only one way to end Phoenix Kill Tony, the return (laughs) of Rocha's. People are wondering what is going to happen. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, shit. He's already had the coronavirus. Sweetheart, what's your name? Amanda. Amanda. (laughs) Oh, come on. Red Pan, come on. Get the fart board out of here. 
Red band. You guys all want to do it once with me? One, two, three. Red band. <laughs> well, I this. Hey, we could go behind the curtain. I, um, I got yeah, this okay. red band. Thank you. Uh, let's just take a moment here. So, Amanda, have you had your ass uh, eaten before? Put the microphone. In, hold on. Put the microphone in front of her fucking face. Absolutely. Oh, shit. God damn. I hope you left a little something back there for a second. <laughs> 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 this is the cleanest ass in Arizona right here. This chick's, That's right. That's this right. chick's That's still right. wearing her fucking pink underwear from the uh, tent city or whatever. Uh, I love it. Amanda, have you, <laughs> Amanda, have you ever uh, had your ass eaten by a white guy? It's my preference. Wow, look at that. God damn. Stop with the fart board, Red Band. You're allowed one an episode. Everybody knows that. All right. So, uh, Zach, how do you feel about this? Are you excited? Okay, what are we doing? Hold I on, don't... wait a second. I, wait, we just got word. Amanda didn't bring her ass on stage with her, everybody. No. <laughs> You had your ass eaten so much, there's nothing left. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> We're waiting for the delivery guy <laughs> to bring more ass. Amanda, you have the confidence of a girl with a much bigger ass, though, I must say. I must say, you have the incredible swagger of, of a girl with a... Okay, so Zach, let's talk about this. How do you feel about this right now? What are your thoughts about this situation? I, I'm open. Okay. Uh, <laughs> you know what else is open? <laughs> All right, so uh, this is the part where, um, believe it or not, uh, if you guys go right on the other, if you guys go, hey, only one fart per episode. I mean, people aren't even people are people people aren't even gonna believe this. But uh, I mean, it just seems like like if I was watching this, I'd be like, this show is not real. <laughs> There's no way. That's impossible. Uh, but <laughs> look at it's so funny, Amanda. Like I mean, I'm not really. I'm trying to think of every possible law thing in my head. But I feel like Amanda couldn't afford an attorney, even if uh, <laughs> even if she wanted to sue. I just don't think so. But uh, but but you guys both agree by nodding and saying yes that you both want to do this, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's he's going to he's going to he's going to eat your ass for a second and then you guys are going to come back out again. Just one second, one second. Just one second. He just needs to get a taste. Are you giving permission or no? Yes, absolutely. Oh shit. All right, you guys go in there. Go right over there. There's a door. There's a secret door right there. Go behind the curtain. It's clean. Go go behind the curtain. <laughs> Security is helping this wow. happen. Wow. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow, ladies and gentlemen, right now, another first in podcast history. We had our first pop pimple in Kill Tony history tonight. We had our first episode of Kill Tony on the road for the first time in almost a year tonight. We had the first ever regular to transition into being a band leader here on this episode tonight. I'm playing my keyboard, y'all! We had our first ever carrot to carrot attempt at a belly carrot transition. I we got a belly button, y'all! We had a what? I put shit in my belly button! William, William. What? We had a white guy juggle oranges here tonight. And right now, for the first time in Kill Tony's history, a guy is eating a girl's ass right now on the other side of that wall. All right, guys, I said just a taste. This guy can't stop back there. I've got pizza back there, no, don't too. No, don't, don't just open that right now. No. I'm not afraid of those guys. I'm afraid of these people in the front that are going to fucking say that they were traumatized by whatever they see. She didn't even have butt cheeks. <laughs> 
Come on, you fucking animal. What's going on? Okay, here they come. Whoa. Oh, wow. I'm excited to hear about this. Okay, so Zach Allen, you just ate your first ass. How do you feel? It was great. Your great. breath smells like shit. <laughs> <laughs> you want like an Altoid or something? Amanda, how do you feel? Amazing. You get the microphone. Amazing. Red band spraying so Listerine. Good. I love it. Spray her asshole. Spray wait, her. Wait, no, wait, I'm I'll kidding. I'm kidding. Don't <laughs> fake spray her asshole. Okay, there you go. Don't spray, Brian. Don't. There you go. Very good. All right. You have to keep the keep the animals at bay here. You know what I mean? Okay, Zach, you feel good about it? Yeah. Everybody's happy? Everybody's happy. You guys should, uh, when you guys get off stage, you should exchange numbers or something like that. I think Zach would yeah. probably like a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> something like that. That's probably my guess, right, Zach? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> oh, my damn. God, you're ruthless. Oh, shit. Looks like Amanda went to Cornish Pasties before the episode tonight. <laughs> you don't get that roast beef dinner. <laughs> What did it taste like, uh, Zach? Can you describe the taste? Like ass. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Was it everything that you thought that it would be? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything I imagined eating an ass. You would know be. what? I can say without a doubt, his d voice did get a little bit deeper, though. <laughs> I don't know if you guys noticed. There he goes, Zach Allen, everybody. He's Zach from Montana, Z A C. How about. Guys, come on, Amanda, come here. Take a bow for these people. Make some noise for Amanda, everybody. She didn't have to do that. This is without a doubt. Without a doubt. I'm fucking jealous. No one got coronavirus. <laughs> Only one person got pink eye from the filming of this podcast here tonight. Uh, how about a big hand for Dustin Yabara? Thank you, Dustin, for being here. What's your uh, yeah, social man. media and everything for everybody? Just my name. is Dustin underscore Ibarra with a Y. Y-B-A-R-R-A. -R -R -A. Yeah, thanks for having me, man. There he goes. How about a hand for the band leader, the regular, William Montgomery. I believe it was February 20-something of the year 2020 in which we sold out a, I think it was a 1,800-seat venue in Vancouver, Canada. And just slightly less than a year later, I will tell you guys, it has been an honor to have you guys come out so strong here tonight. Phoenix, Arizona, our first road gig. It, our longest ever time without a road gig, and we're back. So uh, thank you guys so much. Red Band. Hey guys, if you live if you live in Miami, Florida, me and Tony are bringing Kill Tony there the end of February. Go to DeathSquad.tv, click on tour dates. We're doing it again tomorrow night. I don't know if it's sold out or not, but uh, we'll be here. Also, a stand-up show featuring uh, Selena Contreras, Celia Contreras. Uh, thank you guys so much. Good night, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.